All right, we're on. Howdy. Hello. Greetings. <laughs> Greetings, YouTube. <laughs> Greetings, YouTube. <laughs> Greetings. Uh, so we got here some bright lights cards. Um, we're gonna rate them our initial impressions too after a couple games for constructed meta and uh, what we think of the heroes and certain cards that fit into heroes. So we're gonna gloss over you know some of the cards that we feel like are not gonna get into constructed play. Uh, but otherwise, we're gonna try to give our completely unbiased opinion, Miles. Oh, definitely, um, yeah, yeah, completely unbiased. <laughs> Um, so, uh, should we start with the fable then? Yeah, let's well, actually, it. let's start with some introductions, man, just so we can... Oh, okay, okay. ...face us to the names. All right. So, I'm, I'm Miles, uh, as shown on any other videos of ours playing games. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll go next. I am Lou You are Burr. next. You're lying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. You are no, next. No, because the, dis the Discord cameras mm -hmm. are, are mm -hmm. different so order. Hard. So, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Uh, <laughs> All right, that, that's my intro. Oh, okay. What? Yeah, hey, did I'm, you even I'm, say yeah. your name? Yeah, you yeah said I'm Luber. He's the, okay, Uber. he's the Luby. <laughs> All right. Okay. Going, going off strong, I'm Jackie Bones. The Jackie Bones. The Jackie Bones. <laughs> I'm France. I am the uh, whiskey person. So, yeah. Yeah, and this is, uh, I'm Carlos. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to get into the Master Cog now. Okay. Yes, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not awkward at all. All right, Master Cog. I'm gonna start off by saying this card is shit. Dog shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Yo, chill. <laughs> it's playable. So I it's think playable. it is I like it's... only playable in like max. I would try it in max. Um, yeah. Because I feel like it ends up giving you some va like the issue with max is trying to keep. At least the builds I've been seeing and seeing pop off is like trying to build the mechanoid, and this can like help save you a uh, like a hybrid driver for a turn, um, because you are allowed to stack the trigger from this and the hyper driver trigger if you are boosting, so that this resolves first, so that like a hyper driver at one counter does not get destroyed. You add this counter first. Oh, um, so like that seems cool. But also, you might just boost it, and then you're like, oh, whatever. So I think it needs more testing, but that would be one potential slot. But, I mean, like all uh, Fabled's, it's just, like, fringe, and probably you don't want to play it. But I think you want to try it for fun. I, I agree. Yeah. I think Max is the only one that's going to be useful for this. Um, especially with Crank. The Crank ability is super strong with Max. I just uh, wish it didn't specify Crank. Yeah, it would that, be, that'd be a little, 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 little too good. No, but it's yellow already. Yeah, but then you put a counter yeah, on tackle it's, it's worth it's another cold, it's cold like foil in your deck. Yeah. Yeah, no, what I'm saying, like it's it's <laughs> it's equivalent to a blue in, like without crank. I think well, I think the issue you know, is if it's if, it, if it's without crank, it's it's worth more than a blue. It's like worth Yes, because there are some items that you can't put steam counters on, but this yeah, could potentially if it didn't have crank. Okay, fair. Like yeah. plasma mainline. I okay, was thinking right. of uh, yeah, like be... Tecla Core, right? Yeah. It's worth like two. Yeah, like Tecla Core. No, no, not Tecla Core. What was the uh, the thing that um, reduces all damage by one? Uh, or if you would take one damage, yeah, this is the solution sphere. Yeah, that card is really good. Yeah, sure. yeah. I think that's why they probably restrained it because they wanted to be like, you know, let's have control over what cards it applies to in the set. And I think that's probably fair. Yeah, they want to keep it relevant with the with the context of what hero they want it to yeah. be useful in. Yeah, I'm just a little disappointed, but that's only because yeah. I really like Heart and I, and I compared all fables to those two. Okay, we're well, never gonna that's... get a fable. Yeah, I know we're not. Yeah, they're... unless unless LSS goes, we're releasing Fab 3.0, Return to Wraith, <laughs> <laughs> and there's gonna be some fabled pitch this ping one damage to your opponent. <laughs> not even Return to Wraith, just Return to Arya. The Return no, of Tales of Aria. Duskblade 2.0. We're just leaving. We're just no. leaving. No, no, no. All right. So anyway, let's right. move on, perhaps, to Dash IO. <laughs> All right. Dash IO and Dash Database. Not just IO. It was, this is a CC episode. CC oh, games. true, true. All right, okay. Alan, you've been, you've been cooking with this hero. Like, let's hear what you got to say. Dash IO is based. <laughs> 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 the deck is just fun to play. Like, you're just you're constantly looking at the top. 
you're filtering, if you have monocle or things like that, you're playing items, you got combat tricks with like boom grenade, you're boosting, you can decide what to boost. Uh, sometimes you can bottom a card if it's like a red 0 to 60 that you want for later or max velocity or something. And the deck does a, a lot of damage. Um, there are definitely turns though where either you have too many items in hand and you do nothing or you don't see any items and then you're just worst boost dash. But uh, yeah, of the three heroes, I would say uh, dash has been my favorite to brew and play with. All right. Do you think this is a strict upgrade from old dash? Oh, no, I think the deck's very different. I think, well, if you're if you're talking about boost dash, yeah, boost dash. I think compared to the old boost dash, you lose consistency in terms of a higher ceiling. Oh, uh, okay. Because, because you have the you, items, yeah, like, it's just more decision making with dash yeah, IO in terms of like with, interaction, looking yeah. at the top, and then also yeah, with, go on. Yeah, like with dash IO, if you're looking at the top. Like, you don't have to plan your turn around missing a boost or something. Or if you have Monocle out, you can bottom a card that doesn't boost, for example. So, like, there's some added consistency there. But because we've seen, a, like, boost dash lists run, like, high octane Tomo find all before, right? And Miles would hate that. That's, that's going bad. That's, yeah, it's because of it. <laughs> but, like, that, that was an example of, like, raising your ceiling in the old dash. Whereas in the new dash, you can still have that effect without as much of a downside. Uh, but the problem is, you know, you don't start with the pounder. You're running items which don't block, so it's like higher ceiling, more variance, which is, uh, I guess, what they wanted. Yeah. Did you play with the new weapon? Oh yeah, this 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 weapon's crazy. Yeah. Like I, you can shoot if you shoot six times within a turn, you'll you'll never look back. Yeah. To, to, I, I agree. To plasma pistol. This being zero cost to attack is insane. Yeah. I feel like they're here they're like factoring in the cost of like dash's hero ability and they're like all right you did it there like you can have this for free but you can just store it up you can store it up so it's so good yeah mm -hmm. i was i was worried that this loss of life didn't account for like how strong their ability is but when i saw the weapon i was like okay now it makes sense now it makes sense yeah. this is the synergy i was looking for when they released this yeah and I even considered like trying like a mid range dash with like more generic cards, as you guys saw. But uh, it's pretty bad because the weapon very much incentivizes you to play high octane to get those action points so you can yeah. PPP. And if you don't have enough boost cards, then what are you doing? And if you have too many generic cards, then your boost cards are whiffing. And then it's just. It really does just feel like another flavor of boost dash, which at first I thought was kind of boring because Max is also very boosty. Dash is just, you know, boost with items. But after playing it, it's like very different. Okay. Yeah, it looks good. I guess that segues us to the difference between Dash and Max. So All right. So Max. I, I've been doing some brewing for Max because I'm like a diehard aggro Dash player historically. Um, and I think oh, the thing that <laughs> I'm looking for with Max... <laughs> is like balancing the resource curve actually uh because you want to be able to depend on the like hyper drivers to kind of let you like cheat on resources or you know, if you start with like a zero attack zero boost you know you get like a turn where you don't have to pitch to play out like i don't know like two or three resources depending on your hyper drivers but um you know if you have a turn where you have like nothing but one or two cost red or yellow cars it feels pretty awful um so i think resource curve is gonna be the hard thing here and I think the great thing about Max compared to old Aggro Dash Shell is, like, you can so consistently get the Nitro Mechanoid. Like, if you have, like, at least one Hyper Driver you've drawn, um, you can usually set it up with two tokens and then just, like, go crazy. Um, so, he seems really cool. I think the thing that's going to be the determiner on how powerful he is is, like, how consistent he is over time. Um... I don't know if any of you guys have any opinions on any brews you've made. I mean, if if the game plan is to rush out uh, Nitro Mechanoid like consistently as early as you can, I think he's going to be really strong. But at the same time, there are some decks that can prey on that kind of strategy, right? Like Bravo yeah. Withdraw My. Azuri. Azuri. Kano? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Kano too, right? No more yeah. AB. No just more die to AB. a shred. Yeah. Or already dead if you don't block. <laughs> I, I think there will be like a combination to it, though, right? Hard smash. Yeah, 
There, there's got to be, right? They, you It'll can't just like have a linear mechanoid. game plan. You'll have like the mechanoid as like the side piece, but then you'll just you can probably just aggro the aggro your opponent really hard with just yeah. like some crazy boosts if you really wanted to. Yeah, yeah hyper think... driver just helps you with resource uh, control. I think probably the goal with Max is like when you have just an aggro race is to like race to the mechanoid and then against things that can interfere with the mechanoid like I don't know like Bravo with Buckle because he's as we'll talk about that later with Buckle or um Mangle against against any like Not group, Mangle. right <laughs> if you just get Arv smashed it's so awful so I think there will be like um sideboard plans devoted to like when it's scary to make mech early and you have to wait um, so I think I think there's like tuning to do there. Um, a lot of people I've spoken with have like the same game plan, and then it's like varying results. So I think I hope we will see him evolve over time. Um, and then I guess we should talk about his weapon. Banksy. His weapon, yeah, Banksy, dude. All right, Miles has the hottest take on this shit. I okay, that was said not. <laughs> <laughs> I said in confidence, I was, I was, uh You know, I was high on cope for max and i was like people are gonna hate banksy like people are gonna be like this is the next rosetta thorn it's crazy it's yeah. so aggravating he called this a um, second coming of rosetta thorn i did imagine I said, I said quote me on it and i didn't mean it i should not have said that uh so i think the thing is like the ability for this to basically be like one resource i mean obviously it's like set up you have to crank his turn so you have to be doing your max thing um but like the ability for one for three like get back a counter on your steam like any of your crank things especially hybrid drivers it's just a way that it like accelerates you again to like nitro mechanoid and i think um like nitro mechanoid is extremely powerful if you've ever seen it actually played like the problem before is that it was too um inconsistent so it's too slow yeah so i think this is just like really great in that fashion i think if you're ever in a situation where you're on the back foot it is awful because you can't attack with it unless you crank yep. And you're usually only cranking with your hero ability, and to do your hero ability, you have to boost. So it's like it's kind of like stack of like rickety pieces of wood <laughs> that lead to Banksy. And if like any piece of that gets knocked out, you like can't weapon attack, which is pretty bad. Wow, um, I completely disregarded the part where you have to boost to make yeah. Uh, hyper would you just would, would you just not run Tecloplasma pistol then? So that's the thing. That's that's the question then. Is like, do you want to have a pistol sideboard plan? And no, not even pistol cyber plan. Like, is it just the better weapon? Because it's, it's uh, consistent. I mean, I think, I think, okay, that's fair. I think the thing is here is like, if your your goal is like what I was talking about with Max it, to get to Nitro Reconoid, you need this to like keep staying power of your hyper drivers. That's why I was saying I think Max Cog is better than it seems because it's like another way to add counters to keep them around to get you to Nitro Reconoid. Um, and then once you get to Nitro Reconoid, like you don't have a weapon anymore anyway, so like you don't care. Um, so I think it will really depend on, like, what the meta shakes out, like, what Max can get away with. Like, if you can do old school, like, no block, I just go face, then I think he's pretty great. Um, I think if he is facing Lexi past PQ season, he's gonna feel pretty bad. So, we'll see. Uh, this actually puts a damper in my Hanabi plans. <laughs> So uh, not be, we, we won't be talking you about want it. Anyway. to be good so bad. For I you. do. I really do. Wait, so yeah, walk me through this. Let's say you have a blue in hand. You have a red zero to sixty. You play zero yeah. to sixty boost. You pay into Max's hero ability. Get a hyper driver out with two tokens. Yes. And then your hyper hyper, hyper drivers get crank. And yes. then at that point, you lose a count a count on one of those de on one of those hyper drivers. Correct. I mean, the one you're getting you, from his hero ability. If yeah, you, you want to, to, yeah, to yeah, you have to crank to get the action point back, right? And then Banksy, when you, without one floating resource, you use Banksy and get that one steam counter back. So it's well, basically they don't block, it hits. right? And I think I if your opponent is like giving you a card to stop the steam counter, like that's probably it's, good for you. It's really strong. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think there are matchups where it'll be hard for you to get it because like they have fridges, uh, but. I think that's, like, why I think the trade-off is good. Like, it's not just three raw damage. It's three, like, give me value, three damage, so. Yeah. 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 All right. Sweet. Let's move on to the hottest topic, Teclo Vasen. Miles has been cooking this shit. Yeah, so everyone, everyone Miles wants is to a, make Miles this work really bad. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm going to dominate this hero talk. Yeah, I've been, I've been cooking. I, <laughs> they announced the set, They're... and I actually cried. I actually, in real life... <laughs> 
I was in a meeting at work and I cried. I had to turn my camera off. Anyway, Tech Lavasin is my still most hyped hero in the set. I think it's such a unique playstyle. Um, I am building a deck list that's meant to be more fatigue. Tank but, Lovasen. Yeah, I call it Tank Lovasen. But the goal is to block out until you establish your evos and then just like swing in with a lot of these attacks we'll talk about later. Just like really punishing three cost uh, attacks and then, you know, just like block out anything your opponent's trying to do. You know, you can evade effects like CNC by like instant playing evo from Arsenal. Um, I think there's like a lot of flexibility and a lot of like play expression with Tech Lovasen. Because you can also play a boost plan that tries to get Evos that way, or like, you know, I think there's a lot of flexibility here. Um, and obviously, I'm super hyped about him. Um, and I just think that we will see the most change and evolution here, because I think a lot of people are struggling to see how to play Evos and like achieve everything they want. So um, I think that there is big potential here, for sure. I think that it is going to be a very interesting deck to see. Uh, because it'll also be a thing where if there are good builds, you sit down across from somebody and you don't know if they're playing, you know, slow fatigue, block you out, Teclavasen, or, like, boost, build up incremental armor version. And you have to, like, prepare completely separately for them. So, um, we'll see. And maybe in a month I'll eat my words because it'll not be good in any form. But I think it's <laughs> pretty pretty sick. So I'm not going to call any yeah. names, but yeah, I'm seeing on, like... Discords and social media, uh, very mixed feelings on Teclovasen. You're either really hype about him or like really down low on him. Yeah. I feel like it's also like the since they released Singularity, like they just really people really want to make Teclovasen work. Yeah. And I think that's what like the excitement factor of why everyone wants of like Teclovas in general. I feel like yeah. without Singularity, at least the Marvel version, I feel like people would be like, oh yeah, it's cool. Like we can get armor and but uh, I feel like Singularity really makes it yeah. desirable to build that club awesome. Yeah, I, I agree. I think also to shout out a sister channel, um, you'll see an OK and Y video of me playing against Oliver, where it's like a you aggro deck dunk versus him. the tank. Yeah, versus the tank deck, and it was like I felt so in control of that game. I, um, yeah, when I I was in a was, meeting for like the first part of it, and then when I came out of the meeting and looked back, it was like you were at twenty eight and Oliver was like eleven. Yeah. Um, and the ability to, like, pitch stack Singularity, like, you know, and then if you set it up correctly, like, Singularity just, like, closes the game out, like, you get one turn, you draw up, you have a six-card hand, you, like, cl like, it's just so incredible. So, I think it's a lot more interesting uh, fatigue than what we've seen pre previously, where it's, like, <clears throat> good value blocks. This one is, like, what can I do to set up weird equipment and, like, draw cards and, like, inhibit you? And then, instead of just whittling you down with, like, a four we damage weapon you like explode at the end of the game, which feels really cool. So I like it because it's not just good value blocks, but it's interactable good value blocks, right? Yes. Yeah. On both sides. You can play your yeah. armor and equipment at instant speed and there are a lot of ways to destroy equipment and affect equipment. Yeah. And Honestly, I think that puts the me... onus on the deck builder to like prepare for that. So yeah, go ahead. Al. To me, Teclovesin feels like assuming this like slower game plan is like viable kind of feels like he fulfills the same role that prism used to fulfill you're playing things at instant speed you're building up incremental advantage and you're punishing like slower decks that can't deal with the value you gain over time <laughs> yeah but there's no spectra bullshit <laughs> yeah it's, it's fair prism <laughs> yeah i know we already also... have fair prism <laughs> <laughs> I, I was gonna highlight. Uh, I wouldn't call that prison fair. <laughs> uh, too fair. I was, gonna, I was gonna highlight. I feel like there's some interesting interactions that'll probably come up most frequently in Tekla Um with the way like Evos work, uh, that they are both actions and equipment. Um, so you see things like playing into Azuri. If you block with an Evo from hand, the weapon gets piercing. Um, if you you know if you block with one that's equipped and they play, they attack you with like Orbital Class. I don't know that they're running Orbital Class. Like it gets negative blocks because of that oh. um so there's like a lot of like really weird stuff going on because of this new card type combination scale peeler yeah and so some other decks might play evos but i think like tackle will be the most shit cool. i should have uh, bought match, you'll see, scale like, even even over power like you can't block with your equipment because they are actions also so it's like pretty kind of kind of wacky so are there any instant equips with armor uh or no yeah no there's yeah. there's a or there's there like are, the but they don't have armor. Evos, but they block zero. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they have zero. Oh, okay, okay. 
So they can still oh, be. There's gonna be a lot of judge calls. On yeah. Interactions yeah. with Tekla Boss. So I feel like we could sit. I could. I could sit here all day and talk about Tekla Boss. So we probably should move along. I yeah, mean, it doesn't. Well, it doesn't have to be necessarily Tekla Boss, right? The armor yeah. can be equipped by any of these guys, so long as they have a base. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's a lot uh, less, it, like advised for them. But I think it. Yeah. So, um, Tekla Leveler. I feel like this weapon is like very plain. Um, I don't know. I think uh, until you have three evos it feels like worse tackle plasma pistol um because you just have to like build up to it uh but at four like the one for three go again feels like pretty solid um mostly to me it feels like you know you get stuck with like a bad hand you can always at least chip three um i think it's quite good that the designers of lss like didn't make this three and then it goes up to four because then we would just have hold him again Yep. Where you can always chip over a one card block. So um I think it is like in the exact right place for this deck. Uh but I think it's just like okay, I'm playing Attack of Leveler, whatever. So Honestly yeah. We got this previewed after the T C C box, right? Yeah, uh, I think so, yeah. So when I saw the T C C box, I was expecting something similar to that. Where they had like a machine gun thing where it got buffed based on the number of Evos, but also had Evos that buffed it. Like permanently, there are they or well, not permanently, but yeah, it, kind it, of it's are. only like temporary. Yeah. yeah, and that's what I thought was like the end game, not singularity. And so moving to on to singularity. Nice. Yes. So All right. this is so sweet. I love, goddamn, love these like different ways to like build towards an end game. Because I love Great. alternate like win cons. I don't. Well, <laughs> you just want to hammer for six, five turns in a row and be like, hey, good game, guys. Yeah, yeah. No, there's a public one of those. It's like, yeah. I don't, it's Shadow. It's like, why'd that need to be put in there, you know? Shadow mech? Shadow mech. For funsies. He's, just, he's, like, he's, not, he's not a good dude. So they but... could put more text on the card. Yeah. Some flavor, dude. This, this hero feels like they knew they... Dude, this set to me just like LSS... Design there's, shops like yeah. went way higher. There's so much flavor in this. I'm um, yeah. I'm really happy that they were able to make like this one class kind of set. Yeah, I think just setting it for singularity, like the end game for Teklavasen, like you have to be planning the entire game to get to this, and I feel like that's great instead of just being something where you just kind of do the same thing every turn. Mm -hmm. Um, this is I joked earlier that this is the first time I'm like gonna have to learn how to pitch stack because I always play decks that shuffle. And like I, <laughs> I have two years so I can get the little right. fi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the little fi like Spark of Genius dash. Like I'm always playing. Like oh, I don't have to care about that. But um, I think they made this exactly right. Like I think they tuned the backside. Like I think they did. You know, you if you're doing this, you got like two turns, and then your hero is bad because of the three intellect. Um, so I don't know. I think it's such a cool design. I mean, obviously there's a ton going on. <laughs> Um, just to go over it for everybody at home, you know, it's like six cost to make. You have to have four Evos equipped and you transform your hero and the Evos into this. You keep the same health and then it has uh, the passive text that all of your mechanologist attack actions get go again. Uh, it has Battleborn and uh, it's just crazy. Uh, it counts as having four Evos equipped now. And then it, the big juice is it attacks for six for three resources and banishing two cards from under it. Um, the game in which I played it, I ended up having 18 cards under it, so I would have been able to keep going for quite a long time. Um, but there's a there's crazy stuff going on with this card. You could just um, imagine the Azuri, just like the one hit you allow <laughs> and it banishes. You're just like, yeah, I'm good. I don't want to play anymore. Yeah, it jokes. Right. That's why I'm not playing boost. I can't. I don't want to boost this card. I want to end the game like this every time. So. Wait, um, Miles. So what's your take on it not having go again? I remember we were talking I about think it with that like the is. Correct. I think that is like the right lever to pull, because this card incentivizes you to end with the Steel Soul Evos, um, mm. and you have to set up like that is something I had Singularity in my hand for like two turns when I was playing against Oliver, because I needed to set up the Steel Souls to like make the payoff good enough that I would like kill him right away, um, right? Because it's 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 uh, we'll talk about that when we talk about the Evos, but yeah, I think uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think I think this card is like a giant skill check printed on a card for players who play it. Uh, and I hope too many people don't bounce off Tekla Boston because they're like, I have Singularity, why not win the game? Because I think uh, it's, yeah. there's a lot more to it than that. So. It also feels like it's a rewarding thing to get to pull it off. It, yeah. it is rewarding, but it's not like the I win 
while you're at 40 life kind of deck. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. Like, people, Nature Mechanoid is yeah. set it up, just do it. And this one is like, you have to have the right equipment equipped and like all these things. So, I don't know. Yeah, uh, I think it's just such. A, I think it's one of the sickest cards they've ever printed. So I think it's flavorful, but like I personally don't like these strategies because it just it, to me it feels like a reskin of Icelander Frost Hexes, and I hate that shit. Coming from a Bravo player, <laughs> well, I mean, I think the thing you with this that, is like Alan, like I'm gonna try to buckle you, and you're gonna be like mm, instant speed block play Evo block here there, and I'm just and then eventually I get Singularity and I die. <laughs> <laughs> Skill issue. Um, we'll, we'll um, see. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I think. I think I'm gonna get warhorned and cry. I think I'm gonna get like buckled <laughs> and dude. Sad. This very banish is gonna be. Yeah. Does warhorn That's affect true. this? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Right. What does warhorn effect, effect for you? Uh, it's a nitro record. It doesn't for this deck. Uh, oh, okay. I will actually, I mean, I'm I'm spicing with cognition nodes, and that's a big thing to help keep me alive. But anyway, we we'll, yeah, don't worry about that. All right, let's move on, because I'm sure everyone's talked about this already. Yeah. All right. Hyper X3. I think it's a solid max card right there. Yeah, I think I mean, it's extremely it's, solid. I think it's so linear. It, it's a useful card for Nitro Mech. Like, it's, it's just, like, it's, it's you just have best to run because yeah, it blocks one, spot. and yeah. it has a niche effect that may or may not pay off, but it blocks one. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad it has Battle Worn. I'm yeah. glad it's a mech, <laughs> yeah, it didn't. mech head, right? Because now it, you have an armor mech head to go under Nitro Mechanoid. But other than that, I feel like the rest of this text is uh, irrelevant. Yeah, I think uh, the most relevant is like the if they go under this, you get more attacks with the Nitro Mechanoid. But I think it's like uh, only minimal upside. I it's think it's going to be rare like, to get that right. card draw. Unless you're running sure. a 9 Hyper Driver yeah. build. Yeah. yeah, and if you're running nine hyper drivers, I think you're inting. Well, yeah, maybe there's something there, you know, hyper scrapper. <laughs> yeah, you, got you know, the, the crank shafts. You got. We'll see. <laughs> we got. We got to cook on it. But... God, I would do more than right. cook. Yeah, it can only go up from what we from our initial impression. I feel. Yeah, yeah baseline is that it's. Stable. How does it go up? Yeah. For you have to put if you have to put nine hyper drivers in your deck. You're no, fucking, he's saying you're losing up, already. If someone, you know, cooks up a nine hyper driver build that yeah. works. I'm putting nine yeah. in there. Fuck it. <laughs> Damn. All right. All right. Reprint. reprint. I yeah, it love this reprint. It's crazy. It's fantastic. They never sucks, reprinted huh? CNC, and they reprinted Tech Low Foundry Heart. They didn't reprint <laughs> CNC. What are you talking about? Oh, wait. I stand corrected. Fable. Got him. Anyway. <laughs> this this is a good reprint. I'm glad they did yeah, this. Yeah, I think it. Because the price was really starting to creep up, right, with this announcement, and yeah. I think this will. But uh, guys, what about will... the confidence in the player market? You know, <laughs> my cards know, should have value. There, yeah. there, there is value this, for this cold boys. For this set, got <laughs> slightly punished yeah. if they uh, just waited. But... They even reprinted Teclo Core. If, <laughs> if you have first editions, <laughs> like, those are going oh, down. Yeah, Sag. We all have that one guy who just like, oh, I need the first edition blue Teclo Core, and then the I do know, that's just like I ruined. I, I, do know, I do know collectors that always prefer like Alpha or First Ed over like the new bling. Yeah. Like the Cold Floor promos. I mean, I'm not saying they're, it's not going to like continue to hold value. It's just like, oh, you know, it's, it's that like itch of like wanting to have the, the bling, blingiest deck. Blingiest yeah. deck. Yeah. I mean, you still have it, so you just, yeah. Keep yeah. Honestly, Fab is still a young game. Like, it's been what? Yeah. Four years. Yeah. Hasn't even been four yeah. years. It'll Almost hit, four years. It'll so hit close. four next year. Yeah. yeah. Next year? I thought it came out in nineteen. No, it came out in nineteen. It'll be a Did couple it? months. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it came yeah. out in twenty twenty. No, welcome to Wraith. Look at the bottom of an alpha of card. It says twenty nineteen. Do you think I have any alpha cards on me? I would do somewore, but <laughs> ha, <bro>. <laughs> <laughs> I had to think about it. All right, adaptive plating. All right. This I, I like this card. This I card mean, is so cool. It is really cool. It's I have no comment. Yeah, I think I think the answer is just like it's cool. I think it's like, I like, <laughs> look. I, it's, I think it, it's cool. It's just it's just like a, they were like, let's just fuck around and try something. And I, I really like the idea of this. I think if you're playing some version of like Dash IO that you're not playing Evos in, you could play this as an arm slot. I think that would be made oh, like Goliath Gauntlet. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You're playing more like there's very specific builds where I think you play this over other stuff because it's like a block three. If you have like an already dying item, but I think we have to wait because they were like, 
in the future, you might have other modular things, and then you can choose where they go. Uh, so, um, I'm just oh, true. Block three, yeah. I, this is such a wacky design. It, it is very cool wacky. Card. That's it. Yeah. It's also what? really cool. You, I think you can run four of them, right? You can just like be you really wacky three. with it. Three. You can run three. Limits yeah. three, dude. Oh, I, oh, I see. I see. I see. I, see. I don't like that they're changing the rules for this, though. Yeah, you should be playing four. Fuck it. I mean, I think you were always allowed to play three, just nobody did. I think that's what they're trying to hit us with now. Play three but. tunics? Taylor? Yeah. Let's get it. All right. Uh, do you want to go over these Cogworks heads? Sure. Uh, I feel like we probably do these quickly. I think, like, as a base, if you're playing an Evo deck that has boost cards in it, these are great. They're just strictly better than the token proto bases. Um... So they have marginal bonuses. If you boost a turn, you can pay one to remove steam counters for each of them. Um, so the head is like shuffle and attack from your banish back in your deck. Chest is pay one, gain two resources. So it's like a one-time foundry art without Ooh. banishing, which is pretty good. Arms is like plus one power to a, an attack. And then boots is pay one, gain an extra point, which I think is great. I think this is my favorite. Wow, this, this is strong. Case. It's instant, yeah. too. Yes, so... Uh, I think the set is just like strictly upgrade over the proto if you are, um, you know, doing any kind of boosting basically. So or any kind of evoing. I think yeah. I think well, those are the best yeah. cards because I mean, the Teclo base just like, eh, it's, it blocks one. Yeah, it does block one. So yeah, I think these callers are crazy. I think they're pretty good. Yeah, I mean, not not, sorry, not crazy. I think they're crazy compared good. to the other ones. So. All right, the Teclo base. These are blade break. Please don't play them in your Teclo Vaz's mirrors. This is strictly or power against... iron rot. Your your <laughs> mechanologist sure. mirrors, because otherwise you're just gonna break them. Yeah, I think this is this is one of the optimizations we'll see with like these Evo decks is like who plays these and who plays just Proto, and if there's like a sweet spot after testing. Because I think the fear for me of getting like T boned is just like way too high to ever play these. But super high. I think they're cute. And then Proto is just like, yep, you're playing this because yep. you want to be safe. No it's like if you're playing Bone Basher, Leviah. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Instead of Romping Club? Huh? Moving on. Just chilling. Moving on. Is it Bone <laughs> Basher? Did I, miss up, did I mess up the name? No, no, no you're, right. you're, no, you're right. right. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, I think for me, like I'm running these instead of Cogworks in my Teclavazan deck because I'm not boosting and I don't want to have to put the Steam Counter on the other one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but then you get to play with more dice. This is minus four dice. <laughs> and mech players love dice, right? No, I have like the little metal counters, man. <laughs> Shout out to metal fab tokens. More metal, yeah, yeah, metal metal tokens. <laughs> I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. There's gonna be an order. You can make the table heavier. Token, with yeah. more I think he's making another set too. So. Oh, I'm excited. So. All right. All right. Here is the oh, best set of easily. Uh, armor. Yeah. Is it? Uh, so. Yes. Oh yeah. Well, okay. Sorry. Sorry for tech loss and specifically. I think they're oh, blocks three, dog. Um, so I think this, like, you look at this, three. and it's, if you are playing a scrap-based strategy, you block three from hand, and then you scrap it, and then you play it, and it ends up over the course being, like, an eight block, which is crazy. Um, getting any value from transforming any of these is, like, so good. Yeah. Um, you're running a lot of evos in your deck, so recurring cards with the arm is, like, good. It's, like, the least impactful, but it's still good, so. Uh, getting back three resources, crazy from the chest, getting an action point. From the boots, incredible! Like the head, giving you a higher intellect. It's, it's they're all so good. Does, um, and, uh, this might be a dumb question. Does shred work on this card? Yes. yes. See, you have to be very careful when you play against. Because <laughs> it destroys kind of, it, huh? Uh, when the chain closes. So if yep. you instant speed yes. respond to it by replacing it with a different thing, you're okay. But uh, you have to be yeah. very careful when you play. If you inherently block with this naturally, right? But yes. And anything with temper, and they shred it. The temper thing it's gets gone. destroyed at the end. It yeah. adds zero or less. So uh, these are also, uh, as we were talking about with Singularity, um, they are the ones that specify if they turn into a hero, the ability triggers twice. So, you know, there's a kind of a setup goal for you to set these up for you Singularity if you're running a Singularity deck. Um, because this is how you gain action points to keep going once you transform. Because yep. you have to have the boots. Um, you refund the cost of Singularity if you have the blue equipped. Um... So with just the the boots and the chest, you get to play singularity, and, and then attack, attack twice. twice. Yeah, which is so good. Uh, and then the head gets you around the intellect penalty, and it actually gets you back up to five, which is incredible. So, so good. Can you imagine um, 
attacking twice because you have go again and then attacking with fucking macro i think it yeah. would have been cooler if after singularity if you had all four it would be like take another turn <laughs> i mean that's basically what you're doing right yeah i know but like it would have been yeah. more flavorful that way well i think the problem there is because you redraw a whole hand so that's like pretty yeah but cool. you get to stack it with one of them too you know that's what I'm saying. That'd be incredible. That'd be like, wait. <laughs> I think it's. I think that's that. That would be the the win, like the I win version, right? Yeah. So the other thing with these is, uh, you know, I think it's a lot harder than you think to play them at instant speed because it costs yeah. seven resources. So they cost four. Why did it have to cost four? They knew what they were doing. They cost three. Yeah. It would be so good. I know. So, yeah, I, I think know. these are just best in slot if you're playing Tagalossin. Um, I'm not sure that the other decks in CC are going to want to do too much with these, but. Um, we're going to be seeing a lot of these. Yeah. But I do imagine there's a build out there that doesn't care about singularity. And I'm more interested in that. Yeah. I think, Personally. uh, I think, uh, there will definitely be ones. Cause also I think there are certain matchups where it's like risky to play singularity. So yeah. Um, yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Otherwise I think these are just, uh, really sick. So. All right. Yeah. We can move on to the red ones. The red ones. These are instant speed equipments. You can yeah, equip this at I've, instant I've, speed. I have less ideas with these. Alan, were you brewing with some of these in your Dash IO list? No. I don't <laughs> no? know. I don't know. Really the base. best one's probably Max, because it's, it's, it's hyper driver hyper focus. Drivers for what it's worth. Yeah, but, but like yeah. the hyper drivers are only to prevent damage. So they're not really you don't have to do anything with hyper See, drivers. but this is this is the nine hyper driver build we're talking about, friends. Yeah, dude. <laughs> we just haven't we seen just it. Make Everyone's it. thinking about big Gundam Max. No, 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 no. no. They're not they're not thinking about Metal Bug Boy Max. Okay? <laughs> Blue Beetle Max, man. Yeah. Blue Beetle Max. Yeah. <laughs> beetle Boy with his wrench. Watch out. Beetle, yeah. beetle Boy. So also, okay, so to assess these, they, they they do protect you when you you know transform them with the hyper driver. So there could be a world where if there's like arcane takes off, you know, there's that fabled all arcane set. You know, these are essentially like equip ward X and you don't lose it. So it's like pretty good. Um, and then the effects themselves are also quite strong. It's just you kind of give up your equipment slot. So, you know, the, the headpiece is shovel to attack. Shuffle right? two attacks, right? That helps you against fatigue. Chest this is two boost. resources. Two this resources. Is so and, good. You know, it's not even limited to one a turn either. Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. And then the hands is just like uh, your arm piece is now tackle power. The hands is pretty crazy. crazy. Yeah, the hands yeah. Is crazy. it's double glass gauntlet. You know what? That's yeah. after this, I'm making Beetle Boy. I'm excited. <laughs> and then the, the boots, the boots is make a quicken token. So that one's definitely like once per turn. But like, you know, you don't want to boost a turn. You want to save research. You know, it's, it seems good. Well, so. this works with Hanabi Blaster, dude. Yeah, oh and God. also these are just all instant. So it's just really seems good. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't see the line yet, but I think. Someone will. I think they're neat. Yeah. I don't like that they block for zero. And That's unfortunate. Instant. But, instant. you know, instant, zero cost also, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think if they were no block, they would be, like, too insane. Because you'd be safe from things like Tumble Tie, so, anyway. All right. This is strong. Block three, dude. Yeah. Easy. Do you have uh... anything to say about these for Tekko Vossen? I, so is this I the a, instant one? Yeah. No, it's no. Not, these are actions. These are action ones. Oh, I meant the the abilities instant. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yes sorry. Yeah. yeah. So these, I think they're like Alan. You were saying if there's a if there's ever a build that's not singularity focused, like these are great finishers. This is it. Um, because yeah. it makes it so your gun. This makes techno leveler like a real threat, right? It's like on hit draw card, pretty killer. Uh, with the arm, it makes it so it's four. Um, the chest piece chest makes, makes your gun free. free. Yeah. So you can just like block out four cards and then just like okay. I'm just going to shoot you with this gun um, and four, threaten four. to draw a card for four, right? Yeah. It's it's just like, hey, no resources, no cards in hand, snatch you. It's like pretty insane. Snatch you twice. Uh, well, you, you can't stack the your weapon being free, so... Oh, you can't? The second time is like you'd have to have a resource from something else, but I think it's... Oh, like, your next weapon attack. Oh, I thought it was yes. like your weapon cost no. this much less. Not quite that good. Okay. The only thing about this one is that like you just lose the T-Bone. <laughs> yes, that is. Card. Yeah, but I guess like the card you draw will pay into that second, uh, second target, the second yes, weapon. Yes, that's true. You, you can pay for it again. Yeah, yeah. These I had a, a version where I was running these, and I was like, oh, you block with them, and then you fabricate another thing, and then you go again. But I think that's like doing too much for the singularity tanky build I'm doing. But I think these are very exciting pieces of armor. Yeah. Um, you know, three blocks. Really cool. They break three like. 
Yeah, the toolkit a lot with the the evos and their use cases are really interesting. Yeah, I think uh, they really cooked this one, <laughs> and that really like provides the flavor of like a mech engineer. You know, you can go you can go a lot of different builds with these kinds of yeah. options. Mm-hmm. He's really nice. All, All right. right. The next set is the one from Tolarian Community College, the mm-hmm. round the table. Yep. Uh, this one... Good. Good if you're playing UPF. But probably unplayable outside of that. But killer aesthetic, honestly. Yeah. Unfortunate that it specifically states Techlo Blaster. Yeah. Yep. But seems cool. I mean, also Battleborn, which seems huge, but just huge, not, yeah. not CC viable, honestly. I was expecting a non-UPF version of these, but we didn't yeah. get it. If these were uh, Evo base, I think you might actually play them in CC. The, the oh, Halo oh, you, you, right here. You would play them if they were bases. Yeah, because it's, it's two Battleborn, blue. So well, they'd just be strictly better than the red ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for, for your version, yes. Yeah. For any version. Yeah. Well, if, not if, every if version basing. wants this just because of block. Well, it's blue. That's why it's Because well, the yellow one wants more material. So if you, you want bases, that block. Yeah, you could stack. Yeah. yeah but, I'll keep going. Yeah. Oh, they, I see. They, okay. they tightened it in. So, and then, yeah. okay. So the next set we have is the other Evo base head or Evo base set. So it's the one where you can evolve to this uh, from. The blue and then the blue can evolve back from this so it's the thing that allows you to get the value from the steel soul um i think they are solid like role players um i think almost no. every tech low boss and build will run these wow this yeah. is common yes so i think they're gonna be a player in limited for sure um that too yeah over overall it's a it's worth five block if you block with it and scrap it or yeah it's worth three on battlefield because it's battle worn um it's it's a lot more playable at instant speed than the blue ones because it's only five resources. Um, yeah, I think it's just like a role player card, and it's like good because if your deck's good, this card's good. So, Robocop, it is solid. Yeah. Halo, it gives me such Halo vibes. At least the helmet. Yeah, like a little ODST energy. Yeah, man. All right, so it's this sweet. is the I think personally the worst set or no. I no, the that's the next one. Ones that, yeah, the sorry, next okay, ones, yeah. Right, never mind. The next one is the limited um, set. I mean, this one is also. So this is uh, the action speed yellow Evo set. Um, the effects are okay. It's destroy, you know, draw a card, put a card back, so it's some cycling. It has blade break, which feels a little bad, but it does cost zero. The chest is, you know, crank, put a steam counter. It does the same thing as the cog uh, arm. Put an item from hand into play. That could be relevant. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, and then the boots is create a quicken token, so similar to the the red one. That's pretty good too. These are instants yeah. too, so it's pretty I, nice. I, no, they're actions. They're actions. No, they're actions. No, I mean like the oh, the, the activated uh, ability. Sorry, yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. Sorry. Deja vu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, f- I feel like you just like go off on a boost turn and then end it with one of these equipments because it costs nothing. So it's just yeah. like here's some armor. Save yourself a little bit. The the main thing for me is that like. It's really you're really only getting the payoff if you have more than one material under under this. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just yeah. like pretty mid. Yellow blocks two. Maybe you get three points of value, but it also costs an action point. Um, but assuming you're putting more material under this, that's only with fabricate or the Robocop set. Yeah. And at that point, it's just like, are you really running that in Teclovasin? I highly, I I, I mean, I kind of doubt you're running it in dash definitely not max but like maybe dash there's some you know more mid-range build where instead of like goliath gauntlet or something you're running like the evil arms yeah this, this set screams to me like this is limited um oh someone first pack picked one like the red bases and you get this and you're like all right that's all right if i don't end up with anything else so i mean a two block armor pretty good and limited so hopefully that's that's where yeah it limited it's it's definitely better I don't know about I mean, the final set. One of my favorite names, Evo Zoom Call. <laughs> these are good names. names. I really like the art, but God, these are awful. Yeah. So the first one is you can banish a card from your hand if you do draw a card. Uh, limited help with uh, if you're playing Tekal Lawson to get uh, Evo and a banish also, but then you've force equipped this slot so you don't you can't play over it again. Yeah, these are not bases. Um, <laughs> yes, the chest piece is I guess instant speed gain a resource. Definitely not. What you're trying, I don't think what you're trying to do in CC, um, unless there's some crazy wacky max build that like is trying to blossom of spring but doesn't want to play blossom of spring and you play this instead. <laughs> but, I, don't, I don't know. 
Um, arm. The arm piece, I think, is something that could be sneaky deaky. Um, but yeah, I don't evil. Think... Bam! Hit him with the boom grenade. <laughs> no, no, no. This yeah, is I mean, CNC I, I, for I, seven, dude. Definitely. Yeah, I got him. Uh, and then the boots is target attack gains go again. So I think these are. Yeah, these are the worst that I think are the worst in the set. But they They're look so mid. sick. Cool names, very yep. flavorful, but limited potential viability. Yeah, limited potential, and I think just you are trolling if you're running these in CC. I think so. I'm taking them out right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So these are the three Evo big Evo payoff cards. So um, they each have a different effect for one or more Evos. But the yes. other three effects are the same, which is cost three less, overpower, and plus three. Yes. You're, you're typically only playing Terminator and War Machine, I assume, right? Yeah. Annihilator but, engine's okay, but this one can I think, hurt. I think. Yeah, I think if you, if if Teclavasen takes off and he's doing a lot of armor, then you maybe start sideboarding Annihilator engine to make it so they can't just block you with. But the the other issue with these is it's like. Annihilator, all of these have overpower, and this is the weird thing I was talking about where the Evos are count as actions even when they are equipped, so you cannot block with a piece of armor and a card command. Mm. When they're so, equipped, they're still technically actions, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So these these all break the mirror really well, because you can't your opponent cannot block these, like, basically at all. I think you um, have to play this, then. This is so important. But it's then. only if, if, you're, if the meta takes off where there's a punch of Teclavasen. Uh, Fair. It's like Fair. armor based, you know. Like, I, it'd then, probably be decent against like Bravo or like, um, be good against uh, all them. Yeah, I think Bob the thing with going. this is just like, this threatens to like destroy the cards blocking it, and like your opponent will just like not block with cards they want destroyed. So it's like, no, well, whatever. Um, but yeah, Terminator tank killer, hit a, hit discard a card like built in pummel insane. Yep. And uh, War Machine is just like overpower CNC. Um, or nine power CNC, so um, these both feel like the reason to play part. One of the reasons to play Tech Loss in, in CC, I think. Um, you just evo up, and then you just slam people with these crazy attacks. Like I think during spoiler season, we were like, "How viable?" And it's like, oh, my turn three or four, you're attacking viable. people for this. Yeah, they're yeah. so good. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I think they're just the best attacks in that deck. So, killer. All right. Protocols. What are we feeling on the protocols? The tech card. Uh, Slightly underwhelmed. If your meta is full of dash, IO, and, and max, max nitro, yeah. then this card is probably a 3 of in sideboard because it doesn't even have to hit. Yeah. Yeah, it's on attack, which is so good. It is super good. And the um, worst possible case is 3 for 7, 3 block. But this is only a Teclo card. Method. Yeah. Unless someone builds dash or max with Evos. Yeah. Right? Yes. Because otherwise, you vanilla things, three for seven. This could be one of the things that like inspires you to make a deck that has some Evos. Um, if you need to like mirror, break the mirror for your favor, like if you're playing max, um, yeah. and you're running like cogwork legs, because I think it's best in slot for max with uh, nitro okay. mechanoid in mind. You can play that and then play this card and you get to destroy like one thing i mean and if there's something important you want to get rid of this is this will do it so uh i think it's about very meta dependent like you said mr luber it's pretty excessive though just to, like be able to fit this in yeah I, you're gonna have to really need it to want to play this card all right the yellow one is pulse wave protocol this is where they start borrowing naming conventions from older cards um so this is like a similar effect as pulse wave harpoon um, where it is for this instead of it's how many cards you boosted, it is. Um, oh, Evo, the Evo of, pulse wave part. Yes, yeah. Yes, it is how many Evos you have equipped. Um, except this time it is less than X instead of X or less. Um, so if you have three Evos, this is defense two um, instead of defense three, like it would be with pulse wave harpoon. Oh, so, so less I blocked than the number of Evos you have. Okay. Yes. So like when you have four, it's only getting three. Um, so it is trying to ask for you to play, you know, full suite and have this. Um, eh, I, think, yeah, I think this card's kind of meh. I don't think uh, it's okay. Yeah, I, I think, think it's, it's just right. like, 
you know, if you're playing a deck with evos, you can instead be playing the giant finishers. And if you're playing one with fewer evos, it kind of doesn't do anything. It's just like three for six, which isn't great. Yeah, um, it's just this card just seems like if you need more disruption than like the three engines already. I don't know. Yeah. This is this is I essentially mean, like equivalent to a pummel because you're taking a card that you want. Yes. But uh, I think only an action that, card. Yeah, it's only one. Only, it's only an action, action card. And two, at maximum, it will be. Uh, you're getting three cards, so if they have a four card hand, they can always save the card they don't want you to have. Um, the only way no, to get no, if you have four, four evos, they'll show you your whole hand. Yeah. No, it's it's but less you'll than pick one. No, the than the defense is less, armor. but the reveal yeah. is all. Yeah. The so imagine the like reading the card fully. That's crazy. Read the fucking card. We don't do that here. <laughs> yeah, I no, I don't do that for sure. Okay. Okay, that is okay. That's at least a little better than I thought it was. Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll see. And then Meganetic Protocol. Yes. This is the Teclo Vazen Mirror Breaker. Yes. Well, potentially. I mean, you'll see. It was played against me, and it was not super effective. I saw. I, um, saw. I think. Uh, I think the issue with this, compared to the Meganetic Shockwave that it's borrowing the name from, is that it specifies like minus one counters. And the matchups where you're playing Magnetic Shockwave, it's just you're trying to rip things that are Blade Break. So this is very much specifically built for cards that are like Temper instead. Um, yeah, it's solid. I mean, the fact that it's blue means it's like pretty good. That you're doing. Yeah, the downside's pretty low, so I would say it's playable. Yeah. But is it optimal? I don't know. Yeah, I think this is a thing where you're checking your opponent. Like, hey, are you being careful with your Temper equipment? If not, oh, I got gotcha. you. Um. So yeah. Are you playing this, Miles? I am not, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what's, um, what's with the giggle? What's with the giggle? Yeah, what's going on here? This oh, is not well, a valuable card. It's a, tell it's, us your true feelings about this card. It's mid. No, I think it's I, yeah, I think it's I think it's pretty mid. I think if you want this effect, the decks that this is most uh strong against are ones where you're gonna be getting blade break, and so this effect doesn't work there. And I think if you're playing it in the mirror, um your opponent should just be playing carefully with their equipment. Like, I think if you're playing this against a good Deck Blossom player, like, they're not going to get got by it. Yeah. Um, it does force them to have a play pattern, but I think it's kind of like war Warmongers, where you have to play around it, even if your opponent doesn't have it, because it exists. And I mean, that's, like, how this is strong. Like, it'll make me scared to block with my blue equipments more than one time against a mirror match, so. Um, yeah, I think, it's, I think it's a good card that it exists. I don't know how good it is to actually play, though. All right. Steel Street Enforcement. New card type block. <laughs> Some <laughs> booty butt cheeks right no, there. No, this card is gas. Like, yeah, this card is amazing. It makes me, you know, the art is so evocative also where it's like just this Evocative. Like, it's just like Pathfinder from Apex choking you out. It's like... <laughs> it's pretty good. Cool. <laughs> Great resources, dude. It's provocative, yeah. dude. It gets like, the people I think going. This card is really good in, um, obviously, in Teclavasan. And I think any version of Teclavasan... Because you draw it early, you can pitch it, and it's just a blue. And then late game, it's a five block. It's so good. Um, and it gets around overpower because it's a block card. Did you so, figure oh. out if you want three of these or not? I think so. I think it's so good you want three. Okay. I think it's just such a great card. Um, I think it being a block that gets around overpower for like mirror matches, and I think um, just having a five block from hand, like if, you ever, if you're playing this in um, something like a, like a D-React from Arsenal, like you're blocking nine with two cards for like no so good. insane, like, so good. That's, that's, yeah. So and you can always like cycle too, like with Teclovesc and ability. Yeah. So it's so like, you can always pitch it for later. Like I think yeah. I think that's just you know, watching you like are, when I was watching you like how fast you got your evos equipped, like all four of them. I'm just like holy shit, this yeah. actually. And then the middle game, you're yeah. just like oh block five, like it's it's yeah. it's very good. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think that card is. Uh, really Acknowledge uh, the the block, the new block card. It you can't play from Arsenal, right? No, no. you do have the to only one that can is the ninja one that was released yeah. in the uh, Tolarian College right. partnership. Right, because it, it actually had table. like an ambush yeah. effect, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. but the the bad part is they don't have it in red. So the best you can do is like a three block from Arsenal that also doesn't have a cost, so you can't even pitch it for Kadachis. Yeah, so it's very suspect, but Oof. cool, a cool option. All right, heavy artillery. All right, this is a this is a rare. So there's a set of blue, yellow, and red. Uh, Indeed. 
I think you said you like the red ones. And actually, I'm liking the blue ones now. The like so, the blue ones. Yeah. So this the evil upgrade is like quite good against like aggressive decks. Um. So or decks that are mostly attack actions. Um. It's just your the attack actions with cost less than X or X the number of evos can't block. So I like the blue one because it's like an early game pitch. It's a similar setup to the Seal Street Enforcement, where you block with it, and then late game, it's like an unblockable four damage. So it's like a great way to close out the game with like a resource card later. Um, and I think it also like gets... Like when you have four equipped, like that gets some cards from like, you know, like Bra like Bravo, like some cards, not many, but like it's, it's a high enough value that you're like most people that are attack focused can't stop you from hitting with this. Yep. Um... Good thing I, I don't see. run three cost attack actions, yeah. but I do have like imposing or no, not imposing like buckle and yeah. all that, all that. Card. So I think, stuff. yeah, this is, we'll see. Well, it's not actions. It's only attack specifically. So, oh, attack actions. Yes. Oh, I'm chilling. So I think it's, yeah, I don't think it's, <laughs> I think it's good in certain matchups and I think it's like a role player. So it's Probably a like solid blue. maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's pretty good in Missouri also. All right. Yeah. Well, Liquid cold S spider Man. looks really good. Yes, so this is what yeah. I've replaced the red heavy artillery with. Okay. This card's gas. It's zero, zero, six. zero for six. Yeah, yeah. he's got one card. Zero, zero for six. six. Um, I think that's the power of this card. It's a uh... and it turns on Anathos. Yes. Block three. Sure does. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you get yeah. Alan's, Alan's, Alan's brewing. He's cooking, dude. <laughs> um, I think one of the great things with this card is late game. Uh, if you transform into uh, the Mechaportant, because it gives your oh mech cards God. go again, this six is zero for again. six go again, zero. which is insane. Jesus. So you go like six with your ability, six with your ability, or like this, weave this in. It's just like... You're probably running this... It's so good. Are you just running reds and blues, or are we going full rainbow? No. I feel like I this card... I, I'm running only red currently, because I'm running blue heavy artillery. I wouldn't but... run yellow. Wait, is this a spider? Eight legs, One, but it has two, three, tentacles. Four, it has way more than eight. Okay. What if that's just another like... spider in the back? Yeah, oh. right. Oh, maybe it is. One, two, three. Maybe it's only six. Maybe it's not a spider. Mm, sad. I'm emailing uh, Joseph as we speak right now. <laughs> yeah. It, what is but a I, scuttler? I the bottom of this art. This guy, this fella. What is what is a scuttler? What is that kind of bug? This guy. He's going crazy. He's scuttling. Oh, like He's the thing from uh, Summoner's Rift. Yeah, the Rift scuttle. See, so, yeah, I think I think this card is just like Scuttler is a kind of stri striped lizard. Uh, okay, okay oh, well, lizard. maybe okay. LSS doesn't know what they're on. <laughs> but yeah, I think this card is uh, you know, I think it's great when you play it for free. I think otherwise, it's like of obviously below rate. But I think you know, late game free six damage is pretty. Good. I mean, even even two for six is like rate. You know? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So. All right. Uh, Mechanical yeah, I cannot strength. decide on this card. I don't know. What do you guys think? Because I really can't decide on this card. Or is this like three for nine on the high end on the red? Three for nine with all four evos. And blue would be three for seven because it starts seven. at three. This Ooh. card's trash. It's not even a popper, <laughs> dude. I, don't know. I can feel blue because it's still a three for seven at blue. But I don't Wait, know no, if I it can... Is, it is a popper if you have your evos. <laughs> Yeah, it's an ongoing effect. So it oh, it is an ongoing happen. effect. That was yeah. on play. Okay. It's not, it's, yeah, it's it's not, not when it's attacking. Yeah. Okay. It's a situational popper. I mean, the situation is it's past turn one. So, so many of these cards are like, oh, blue is great because you pitch it and then your blues are above rate. But that's literally like every single card. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's, it's good damage. damage. They're cooking. You want damage. <laughs> yeah, this is good damage. That's it. Late game damage right there. I like the blue. I don't think you get much more for red. Plus two damage well, you, for red. You would go six, uh, go again into six from Micro Potent. Yeah, a three blue hand. It's not terrible. Twelve damage, banish. Wait, wait, wait. Why six go again? It would it would be nine because micro, micro opponent micro. counts as four. This is in text, four. right? Oh yeah. Four oh, yeah. So it should be yeah, seven. Yeah. Seven, seven. So it'd be oh it'd seven. Be, yes, yes, seven. Yeah, it'd be seven go again. Yeah. Seven or six, nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, seven bad. Yeah. Not 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 bad. But I mean, I like it's, when it's every blue is above rate, I I don't know which one's the best. You know. Yeah. But like I would probably run that over the uh, magnetic one. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm down. So, I said. All right now, Alan, let's let's you got to start teaching us here. All right, let's let's just let's just items. let's just go through these quickly. Yeah. Um, yeah. grinding I gears, target here. Okay, someone can probably figure out some loop with this where you're playing a dash fatigue mill deck. <laughs> right, I'll <next>. cook. <laughs> I will cook. Otherwise, 
F tier. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you can, this could be the payoff instead of your pistol. You just go fatigue, and then you do. Yeah, no, that's, that's, what, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like, and they, then you go grinding gears, grinding gears, grinding gears, grinding gears. There, yeah. there are ways to loop, but it's like so convoluted. Like, you need to play it. You need to crank it. It goes into grave. You got to banish it with scrap, and then you like prismatic lens it back, and then it's 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 just a mess. Yeah, this this seems excessive to build into, but this seems fun. I like. like I, was talk- I like these. I was talking to Ian about Prismatic Lens, which is the next card, and there's like a bunch of weird loops you can do with it. Like we thought about one where like late game with like three specific items and a pitch stack, you can infinite loop your weapon, which is great because it's not like a real weapon, except you're doing like three damage, four cards a turn, <laughs> and that's your loop. So I don't wow. know. Three damage, Otherwise, four cards. I think like if you're just playing like a aggressive tempo we thing, Prismatic Lens is like not it. Like it is it's honestly harder than you think to get your items in banish because you you have pretty good control over what you're boosting. And generally you're not boosting your items, you're playing them out. Um, but it's like yeah, no, prismatic lens ain't in it. But, but the art's nice. Yeah. It's neat. Quantum processor. What does this card do? <laughs> I don't uh, put decent. put a item that costs zero or one from your hand into the arena. Oh, I mean, so, but you still do the same thing with dash, right? I mean, th- yeah, there are a lot of effects where, um, either like on hit or like do this, and you put an item from your hand into the arena. I think most of those are pretty bad, um, because if you're playing your item from your hand, even if it's through another effect, like the rate is. Uh, off the top of my head, the rate is pretty bad. Like dash is great when you're playing things off the top because you actually have like a five card hand. You crank, you get an action point, you get a counter in your gun. Um, if you're using this to like minimize your downside of like, oh, there's an item in my hand, I don't know what to do with it, then it's like pretty meh. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is just like a resource cheat. Only if you get to use it two times. Otherwise, you paid one to pay one, which is like okay. Um, I guess it's the another only, thing that can help you cheat on the cute powder keg damage. <laughs> the only thing I can think of is like getting more action points, right? Because this is this activated ability is instant, so you could put something in with crank, get an action point from that, and shoot your gun yeah, additional it, times. Like, but, yeah, I think it's like if you play this from hand, um, you have to crank it to yeah. get your action point back. Oh, yeah, yeah, and then the item that comes in, you can crank that too, get two action points, but then you just uh, pitch like one resource, and two non-block cards for two action points, which is okay. Yeah, and then your whole turn is just, I shoot you with pistol for two times, which is, like, not yeah where you want to be, probably. Like, if you play this off the top, it can... In, in general, I don't like the one-cost items. Any of them. It makes sense. Yeah, paying yeah. two for them off top feels rough. Yeah. Like, there are some where it's, like, may- maybe, just maybe. But in general, I would only run. I only tried running zero cost items because yeah, it just felt well, so much cleaner. Here's some zero cost. What about stasis? Cell? Uh, this one doesn't have crank, so I didn't really bother. But oh. I I thought about this one. It's interesting. I don't know if it's actually. This is the usable. rampart. The rampart shield killer. Man, <laughs> for just one turn. <laughs> <laughs> this, this feels like if the payoff evos are unreasonable you're like okay i have stasis still so i can slow you down for a turn but uh. yeah it's it's super super niche super linear niche use case. just like yeah yeah this is like you play it off the top and you hit storm striders and you're like hmm, can't combo me this turn <laughs> or you have to kill me through my entire hand in ab3 <laughs> oh. <Yeah. laughs> all right tick tock clock I, I can respond to this you have to target. Yeah, no, but I'm saying if if I play it off the top and you respond to it, that means you have to kill through the hand. Whereas, yeah. like, if you could eat some damage, take some cards from my hand, and then pop off. But, okay. Yeah, true, no, true. super niche, not much. All right, tick tock clock. Uh, attack action, destroy this. Two other. So items. it's it's this up to three it. damage, this but you have to destroy two other items. Nah. You destroy two items of your opponent. I feel like it's just like a win more card. Isn't it your own items? No, it says in it says, the arena. Oh, it can be. Yeah. An, oh, maybe this is like a cute mirror thingy where you have this and you're like, you pop their Teclo Core or Teclo Pounder or Teclo whatever. Because uh, there's some big items, right? But I don't know. 
it's another one of I those mean, many cards in the set that's like very designed for the mirror probably mm -hmm. i mean this is something where i i i think if you are playing dash io you might play this if max takes off right because you make it so it's like if you leak at all i will blow up your mechanoid your hyper oh mechano oh mm. you're right Fuck I, me up. I didn't or they're like that. oh just three whatever and then you instant speed play this from off the top of the deck and then you're like goodbye your game plan yeah so. i didn't realize this was um arena i thought it was your own items so oh. i just glossed over it i was like garbage but if it like destroys <laughs> and this is this is basically boom grenade on steroids assuming it's assuming you're playing the, the right mirror. matchup yeah. Uh, yeah yeah assuming it's the yeah. right matchup so, so i think this is a like meta if the meta is bad item heavy you can rip this off i'm otherwise. a little worried with how many like mirror breaker cards there are because then it just i mean they it... do that in monarch and it's fine light and shadow <laughs> this is a light hero <laughs> this is a shadow hero i'm not talking about limited though oh i see i mean it's a majestic it's fine yeah yeah it's just a toolbox they're building the toolbox out you want right. vector trash uh this one can also be really funny it's basically like a seismic surge <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Except, you, except brain. you can keep it forever. It, but <laughs> it's only good if you play it off the top. And it doesn't even have crank. I, I personally didn't run this. But I can see why this would be funny. I actually think most of the loops we thought of with Prismatic Lens use Feel Injector. Because there's like there's another item where you can put a steam counter on an item with, with crank. And then you need that resource. to Yeah, that one. <laughs> so you basically, you get the Feel Injector. You get the resource. You play it off the top. And then you put it on. It, it's, it's a bunch. It's a weird stuff. <laughs> All right. What about medkit? Is this is this the I I win by stalling no. you card? No. In in some world where uh, life gain. slower life gain, life gain tank, tank mill dash io was a thing, <laughs> then yes, you probably do run this. If this was instant, I could easily see tree frog dash coming back with dash io. Stop and it. this. No, you just Ooh. you play this, you reactivate no, it, then you crank an item off the top, and then you're chilling. Like who cares if your items don't block if you're healing too? Or, you know. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> sarcasm. Anyway, sarcasm. Hilarity reversal script. So this one's interesting. This one, I think, if you're worried about fatigue, which is a very real thing for mm -hmm. the deck, if you're running like boost and items, um, because sometimes your items don't get value. Like if your boom grenades don't hit the entire game, then like you're whiffing on a lot of damage in your deck. So you could set up some cute polarity reversal script thing where. Uh, it's basically like Spider's Bite on your opponent's blocks, but uh, I personally haven't gone down that route yet. Uh, in terms of fatigue, I've just been boarding in like max velocity, and it's like, you're going to eat all the damage in my deck, and you're going to die. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I, I wonder if there's a world in which uh, you want this in the sideboard of like max, because it helps you get through people trying to fatigue you. Um, That's like, also Against possible. like Azuri, there are all their things that have block two. Against Teclavasen, his armor will break if they are temper, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because it affects it, right? Because it's it's, yeah, it's the armor action. still in action, right? Yeah. yeah. And this turns on Banksy, you know? Yeah. So you, you I start with it. You crank. You boost the way. You end with the Banksy. Actually, no. And then there, and then there three blocks. Defending your mechanologist attack action. Oh, attack action. Cards. Cards. Well, it turns okay. on Banksy to attack, but it does not. Help. Yeah, but it turns on Banksy to attack. Okay, okay. I don't know if you. But they'll still that, block though. it usually. Yeah, so this on... this and penetration script, the yellow, are both like. They're they they have the, the same. Yellow theme, one is like if like your opponent's not top. blocking, you want this one, and the red one's like if your opponent is blocking, you want this one. Yeah, yeah. I like these scripts. Yeah. These scripts are cool. Yeah. I think the scripts are on the ver or right now. I I don't know how I feel about them, but I definitely wouldn't say they're unplayable. Yeah, and then security script. Is if you are doing defense season and now your galvanized cards. Oh yeah, five. for the for the fatigue uh, dash IO deck. Yeah, yeah it might exist. I I don't look forward to it, but it might. It, it, it might honestly exist. might. Like I'm not even memeing when I say that it's possible. But will it be good? I don't know. Like if everyone's boarding for fatigue against dash because everyone's boosting and you just come out with your med kits and your <laughs> and, and your security kits. scripts and fuel injectors, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. These scripts are. Really if sick. if there was a reliable way to bank action points without high octane like a slow dash might actually work because you just play through your blue items you get like six counters and you can go pew 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 pew, pew and then you start blocking again <laughs> but yeah uh, not much to say about this one and then oh, these next three are backup, the, these the are my fight. these are my favorite items they're really? so fun to use yes not the yellow one 
because I don't run yellow attacks. Well, I run like one in sideboard, but the the blue and red there's the blue is literally gain a resource if you if you play it off the top. No, sorry. Um, if you play it from hand, it's gain a resource. Oh, uh, I see, I see. Yeah, you're yeah. right. If yeah, you I play see. it from hand, you get your action point back, so it's two damage on your gun. And then you pave two, you get a blue attack action back to your hand. Now you have three resources. <laughs> Actually so good. It's 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 pretty mid, but in terms of like expanding the possible lines, whenever I see one of these cards, it's it's just really fun to think about. Even like the backup protocol red, it's like, do I get a throttle now and like try to play it this turn, or do I get a max velocity back from grave, arsenal it, set up for next turn? It's just I think these items are, are great. They're, they're really fun. In terms of, do I think they'll make it into like the best version of Dash? I have no clue. But in terms of my enjoyment playing this card, I absolutely love it. Yeah. All now, right. Here comes here comes the boom. The oh, bread and butter. Hell yeah, dude. This is this this is by far the item with the best rate. Yeah. You play it off the top. You know, you get two damage on your gun. You can crank it if you know you're going to hit this turn. Which, if the opponent says no blocks, and then you just instant speed. Can you? No, you can't instant speed um, before damage, but after reactions, there's no step. But you know, if you assume they have no reactions, they say no blocks. Bam, boom, green off the top, deal four damage. You crank it. You get an extra free action point and a counter on your gun, and it's just this. This card is by far insane. I imagine like in a fast dash deck, people might just run nine boom grenades because that's just like the best item by far. And it's so crazy to me because you look at this, and I'm like. Is toxicity good? And I'm like, no. And then I'm like, no. Boom grenade. <laughs> this card's <laughs> good. Same thing. But it's just like, there's Better. so much weird build space around it that it makes it like actually like killer, like really good. Yeah, the fact you can play it in instant uh, like reactions is what yeah. makes it yeah a lot better than toxicity because toxicity and, and is like you, up front. Oh, and it gains an action point too. The other yeah. thing is if you if you instant speed it off top, you don't have to crank it and it stays around for two turns. Yep. Where it's like, oh, you have to deal with me. Any leak deals another four damage to you. Like that's it seems, or you know, two or three. Yeah. I don't know. Are you playing so more you than the Reds, Alan? Uh, no, okay. not currently. But that's just because I like running my cute backup protocols. Um, Fair. I do, I do think the red the boom grenade is probably just a better card. And if I ran rainbow boom grenade, the deck would probably be better. The backup protocol is just so fun. <laughs> I like, <laughs> like the if blue. I took this if I took this deck to a PQ, maybe maybe I'd run. I like the blue first. And then Ian was like, I like the red. I was like, why do you like the red? That just seems you pay two resources to get a red card. But then I was like, some turns you just have so many resources because you have like Tecla Core, Tecla Core, or, you know, you can Foundry. And it's just like those two resources can fix your hand. It can be like a zero cost boost that like finishes your max velocity. I just. Or you it, it can came get up a max velocity, me. right? Yes. Wow. Actually good. They're basically like turn fixers, which I think is like pretty invaluable. Um, yeah. yeah. Dissolving shield. Man, this right. one I also like, but also don't run. <laughs> like, it's in my sideboard because it's like, I haven't played into any matchups where we're like actively trading. Um, but if you play it off the top, let's say you crank it, has two steam counters, you shoot your gun for two, and then on their turn, you can pop it twice and block two damage, potentially covering up breakpoints. That's like four value off the top for one card. But I feel like when evaluating these items, uh, you always want to evaluate them off the top. And Boom Grenade is literally just like six off the top. And this is like four, best case scenario. They're fatiguing you. They're not going to attack you. The steam counters do nothing. So it's like in the right matchup, maybe it's okay. But I just think that there are... Be Ugh. I don't know if there's better red, red items, but basically the point is like you would probably play Yellow Broom Grenade over Dissolving Shield. Because the yellow is five values compared to red dissolving shield four value. Yeah, and that's yellow boom grenade. So. Yeah, yeah, yep. All right, hadron collider. Um, uh, again, I don't really like one cost items. <laughs> yeah, this just uh, seems like a worse boom grenade. It's fine, but my <laughs> issue with this card is that you have to boost after it, and usually. I'm not leading with items. Like if I'm leading my turn with an item from Arsenal or Hand, that's like not ideal. Yeah. That's why most yeah. of my items are either boom grenade or blue. Um, so I don't know. Maybe you could run this as blue. It might be better than like backup protocol or something else, but Yeah. In general I also don't want to run 
too many items in my deck. It's just like but. a. It tries to be like a front loaded boom grenade, but it costs yeah. one, right? Which just makes yeah, it so really worse. You can you get the guaranteed value off of it as compared to boom grenade, but I think this deck like goes wide and big enough that you can pretty reliably get boom grenade off. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Worst field is a defensive one again, kind of like dissolving Fucking shield. One cost items, bro. Except it costs one, so again, I don't, I don't, look, I don't look at that much. And also, the blue slot is like super competitive because you already have like Teclo Pounder, Teclo Core. Um, what's the other one? Optical Monocle. Yeah, optical which that card monocle. is that card is crazy good. Yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. Starts, it starts in just says like opt right five here. times. It's like insane. yeah, <laughs> opt, opting five in dash, and when you play it from the top, you get a counter. But you you can't count you can't crank it because it's an old item. But still, items items crazy. But yeah, uh, these defensive ones I don't really care too much about. Like mini force field, it's basically dissolving shield. But yeah, if there's a one. cane in your local meta that's really tearing it up. Yes, you just uh, sure. just slot this in. You definitely yeah. could. Yeah. But it still costs one. one. Yeah, and you can still you respond to it. Yeah, but you play it after yeah. the wildfire, and if they respond to it, then yeah. it's like you're chilling. Yeah, we just wildfire in response to. Okay, double wildfire. Double, double wildfire. I'm, you're not living anyways. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Doesn't matter what you got. All right, another set More of scripts. scripts. This, this one is, is an overpower one. Oh, garbage. Yeah, doesn't bring anything to the table yeah. really. I mean, I mean this is a limited card, right? Like, I think it's very much I, limited. Card. It is, but it's also like, let's say Teclo Vossen somehow becomes like the big bad of the format, and then you sideboard this in so they can't fatigue you. <laughs> Because almost everything in their deck is in action. Yeah. Second cycle, I guess. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, it's just rough. Second cycling of fucking red. It's very niche. It's more limited. I would not run this yeah. unless needed. All right. This Mega one is skips. go again. Another anti-fatigue mech card. Uh, it just gives them natural yeah. go again. But you don't get the yes. you don't get the benefits of boosting. Yeah, I think most most cards that you're running in the deck have some payoff for boost. Mm -hmm. So you you actually actively want to boost. Um, there's also many turns where I check the top card, it's not an item, so I want to boost, so I can find a damn, a damn item off the top and play it. So there's that too. Uh, yeah, so for that reason, I wouldn't really consider that one. Yep. And then auto save script. This one this I one can is, actually this see. One, yes, this yeah, one I yeah, can, I can see. see. I love the sure. art on this one. Yeah. This one is also anti-fatigue, um, but once again, like, and it's also blue, which is great, because if you're anti-fatigue, then you're boarding up. And if you're boarding up and you want to keep your ratios, this is perfect. Uh, but for me, I went with the let's just try to kill them harder rather than um, save cards, and that seemed to yeah. kind of work. But maybe if you have this in your sideboard for anti fatigue, it just like becomes like unlosable, kind of like Remembrance Lexi, you know. I like this because it's like a, a cognition nodes for dash IO. Oh yeah, no, I, no, I, yeah, I would definitely run cognition nodes over this though. Yeah, yeah, because this this is like specifically like this turn or this turn and the next turn. Yeah, cognition node just stays. Uh, cognition node is yeah. like when you want and when you can tell it's going to hit. It'll yeah. Yeah. All right. We know about this card. Hyper Scrapper. <sighs> All right. Does someone else want to take the lead? I've been talking a lot about items. <laughs> hey, you know, we got to wait. This is the yeah, no, this is a max so. item, though. So I no, think actually, sure. I, I played this in Dash. It was pretty funny. What? Yeah, I was gonna really? Say, I think the issue with max is, like, you're mostly making tokens, so you don't actually get value from this. I'm telling you, Miles, the nine hyper driver build. They don't fucking listen, <laughs> yeah, Alan. Not, That's the that, issue, dude. Chef, They're not what. listening. I'm not that good of a cook. Does this not know. work with token hyperdrivers? <laughs> the, the blue... No, it doesn't. And it's cards from Graveyard. Yeah, because they, they don't go to Graveyard. Oh, tokens from disappear. Graveyard. Yeah. Yes. Oh. So this feels so, like... Is this is this like a dash, uh, you know, no, combo ender? No, or? no. This is the blue beetle Bro. max we were talking about. <laughs> but this doesn't work with X3. <laughs> this is so rough to work with no, X3. No, but once, once, once you... Ah, oh, you're right. <laughs> and like, okay, okay. Is, this, is this a dash game ending card? Like it's your blue, you pitch and you get it late game, or no? Six Are we just not playing this card? Go again. And, make, make and what is it? Alan, make us understand. <laughs> also, like all the blue beetle cards, like all the effects are like banish a card under this, so they're not even in graveyard. If you put your hyperdrive, yeah, I'm not, I'm not talking about beetle. I'm talking about the dash I was your plan. <laughs> oh yeah. Are you ending yeah. the game with this, where it's like, oh, this is like six go again, or not? You have six to yet. pay that resource too, dude. You get, you yes. get the feedback, you get the money back, though. Yeah, sure. It's... Then what are you gonna do with the six resources? Well, actually, you're I... not. Are you running hyperdrivers in your dash right now? No, no. 
It's okay, literally just card, then you yeah. have to play this card. Okay. Yes, it's okay. it's like it's a last ditch effort, where like, yeah, no, this this card wasn't good. Um, <laughs> like you end the game with like five, six, seven items in your grave, but like let's say you have six, a three card hand. This is three card eight. That's that's blue thunderquake right there. You know what? Yeah, you got me on that one. No thanks. We're not playing this card. I think it looks sick. I think it's like a cool idea, but yeah, you know, this could be for like the OG pistol. With OG items, not Habibi, Habibi Hyperdriver. Oh, not with this <laughs> card. <laughs> I mean, I think if you're playing like nine Hyperdriver Max, this is sure. This sets up a crazy turn, but you have to have like an all blue hand. So I don't. I just don't know what I'm you're playing after blue. this because you need to pay at least one blue with this, and then you have to do something with the six resources. One, one blue it comes in for five. Go again. You get six resources. Then you hit them with pulverize. I don't know. <laughs> nah, dude. If you ran um, items in Teclavos and we'll you could transform, too long. Range is melted. <laughs> you could do this and then attack, but I don't think so. Yeah, I, I don't. I, I don't know how this card's gonna work yet. Bro, it you feels like there's resources, and then you play two pummels. That's it, right? Well, you're cooking. Hold on. Actually, Wait, hold on a second. Three pummels. <laughs> three, three, three pummels. Hold on a second. Coming back, and we're going. Right. Wait, three, you have three Actually, pummels. Actually. Like they Actually, block, you draw. You play another one. We got nine hyper drivers and rainbow pummels, and that's it. We play hyper scrapper. We win. You just chain hyper scrappers. Actually, don't listen to me. Yeah, you just <laughs> you, you just chain hyper scrappers. Boost the pummel and end your turn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, not seeing the vision, but we'll. This is a card. I feel like this is a card we will revisit whenever they print more back cards. Where we're like, mm, is it's it good just, now? Yeah. I I think it's, just, it's gonna uh, be the, it's gonna be the mech version of uh, what is that unified will? What's that card for warrior? Where every set you're like unified is it decree. Good now? Yeah, are you like is it good now? Yeah. Shout out Hayden Dale. It's not good yet. It will be soon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> scrap trader. trader. All right, this card Wait. doesn't have go again. I did yeah, not know the, about that. The Teclo, just to put armor. This card armor. is great. This is gas in Teclo though. Yeah, scrap twice is primo. And it being a card that gives you four resources is also killer. So if it's like two card hand, this and a blue after blocking, you get to scrap twice, and then you can afford to Teclavas and a blue armor piece back. Like the Evil Soul. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and then draw a card Arsenal. Like it, it, I think this card is so good. This card's really good with Evil Soul. Like it's not only like a accelerant for you to have a bigger hand by having Evos and Banish, but it's also a card that's four resources. Like it's just. Uh, this should have been the fabled. Exceptional. I think. It's, <laughs> I think it's exceptional. I think two block is like correct. So, yeah. like, imagine uh, if this was a a red fabled. Oh, it has you, scrap you and then gain a pitch, resource you for pitched scrap. It to scrap. I don't know, but yeah, then you gain more resources from scrapping. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Scrap yeah. and then gain two resources if you scrapped. Just yeah. this card alone. Well, correct me if I'm wrong. Like, if you had the the Evo, the four bay, the four cost, you just play this. Scrap two cards and then just play for free. Draw a card. Arsenal. No, it does not have go again. You have to do instant speed. I see. I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you have to have another blue and you have to pay. Oh, you have to pay. I see. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's why it's like two card hand if your other card's blue. I think this. That's still it's really strong good. though. It's yeah. I mean, you set up a time really snap. I mean, post also, gym. like not, not to understate, like, I think <laughs> the, the, we'll get into the scrap cards. Um, <laughs> there are not as many good scrap cards, so I think this is like double scrap in one card is weird. Oh, all right, anyway. Like all right, Hydraulic Press. I <laughs> saw you play this. Yes. No, it's, it's, these yeah. cards are just really good for Teclo. He's, yeah, six over yeah. power. He's going to scrap killer. everything. Yep, fantastic. Yeah, I think Red Blue. I think it's one of the staples. Uh, yeah, nothing else. Yeah. All right. Ratchet up. Galvanize. Galvanize card. card. The galvanize card. These are limited okay, cards. I don't know how I feel about Galvanize. Yeah, we get the Fatigue Weird Dash. Sure. But I think outside of that, these are like, I mean, one for five. Sure. But you would rather play Zipper Hit, I think, most of the time? Yep. Yep. Because this doesn't um, have natural boost on it. Yeah. No. Yep. Yeah. So I, uh, if a it's galvanized cool. build emerges, I think this card's good. But short of that, not max dash, yeah. Not seeing it. All right. Scrap Hopper. This card's it's sweet. Card. It's good. This card probably fits into some other build of Teclo Vessen. Yeah. Yeah. I think the I blue think is fantastic. This card. Make it four attack. I think actually go for it. Like, 
zero four. Like if it's if it's zero <laughs> four, I'm playing this card. But I think if you zero four, four, four bro, this card would be that's, way too good. That's way too good. It's zero four, four scrap make a quicken token blocks three. It's just zero, it's, it's just zero to sixty. <laughs> but no, 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 it's not zero to sixty. It's, it's a it's a better version of flock with the feather walker. Yeah. Zero to seventy. Oh, yeah. reveal. Yeah. I don't know. I think I, I you know they they know what they're doing. I if it was me, I would have made it for. But that's why not, that's why I'm not a game designer. That's opinion right there. All right, yeah. soup. <laughs> this card Super. is gas. Zero yeah, four. This card's, this card's four four dash. block. This card's so this gas. This card's this card is pretty mid. Are you running this, Alan? I am running this. <laughs> this isn't mid. <laughs> and how mid is it, dude? In Dash IO, this is fantastic. <laughs> I mean, the it, amount of times you have yes. like items like destroyed at the start of your turn, yes. right? This it's, card it's is more, incredible. It's more consistent than you think. Like you're very often just going zero for four go again. Like yeah. it's basically scar for a scar, except more likely to happen. Well, maybe not more likely. Well, yes, because you're killing them, so more likely. But um, the galvanize doesn't really come up too often. But if it does, it can be clutch. You know, stopping a snatch, stopping a. Uh, I don't know. Oh, Miles' camera died. Bye, Miles. Miles. He's a little blurry. Come back. Oh, he's back. Okay. Oh, now you're muted too. It was starting to get blurry. I was just resetting. All right, let's go. Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. But what is it? Um, my issue with this card is that, um, so many turns you want to boost to fulfill some other condition, whether it's like max velocity or your high octane turns. Like if I draw high octane and soup up, I'm just like, why did I put this in my deck? <laughs> yeah. That's fair. 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 Are you ever actually galvanizing? Uh, it hasn't come up, but I've never whiffed the go again yet in my limited sample size testing. Yeah, but I mean, because galvanize is like you have to destroy an item to make it do the thing. Yeah. Yes. Like, are there ever any items that you're like, I'm okay with destroying it to get this block? Yeah. Usually, if I play like some random item off the top, I'll crank okay. it and I can just like destroy it. Like, if I play a random blue protocol off the top, I'm more likely to just crank it, get an action point, shoot my gun. It works really um, well with the, the dissolving shield, right? Because you could activate all this and then destroy it. Yes, in the block, yes, right? you can. Yeah. If you're if you want to try like some more back and forth, then you're playing like dissolving shield, um, and soup up. Soup up is probably the only galvanized card that's that's actually playable, because it has go yeah. again. Disagree. <laughs> all right, well, torque tuned then. Overpower. Yeah. This card's okay. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah. It's a nah. popper. I would rather play throttle. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, if you're there, there's actually so many good two co two cost boost cards now. This is not making the cut. Yeah, yeah. All right, cognition, cognition field. field. Galvanize for five block, but natural three. Yeah, for the for the fatigue dash. Yep, it's all right. <laughs> Bro, just I mean, yeah. If that nah. if it emerges, this card's gas. Otherwise, mm. I I really do believe there's going to be a fatigue list out there. Like, and it's just gonna lose to old dash. Be the change you want to see in the world. <laughs> what? Who's the Who's the people behind Magnolia Pro Team? I know T Tebow is in there. T Tebow. Because they're they're uh, cooking. Matt, Matt McInnes, I think. Yeah, McInnes. I have no McGinnis? idea, but like I'm they're sorry, they're cooking. They're fucking cooking this shit. I know they're gonna build something for worlds. They're gonna I'm, call I'm it. I'm gonna wait it. Gross. It's gonna be awful to play against, but it's. They're gonna cook. They're gonna pick um, a new animal and add dash at the end. <laughs> Hyena dash. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, infuse alloy. alloy. This is a strictly Wait, worse I think we soup up. Okay, yeah, now we're going. I thought we yeah. skipped. Yeah, this is just worse soup up. Strictly worse soup up. This is limited card. I mean that's why. It's like it's a common and soup up rare, right? So yep, yep, yep. Infuse titanium. This card's this gas. Card's limited gas for it's sure. Damn it, dude. Uh, I, tried it, seven? Dash. I tried it in CC or against Gaze vs. Oliver, and I was like, this feels so bad. I draw it, and he's like, mm, I'm just going to Arsenal pass. And I'm like, okay, my best I can do is three for seven. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, first, I think this is like fatigue deck. You play this if that comes up. Yes. In, in some, in some, I, yeah, I do think some mid rangey, deck. like IO dash lists could work with like Galvanize and like more mid rangey stuff. But yeah. in that list, you're 100% running Plasma Pistol because you're just not getting the high octane off if you're running all these galvanized cards. Yeah. Yeah. This is, like, essentially another, like, Findle's Fighting Spirit in that kind of list, right? Yes. Yeah. And I, I haven't cooked one up yet for that kind of list. 
Yep. The one I tried made me throw it away. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, Drunk Tower Dog is just a role player. I think it's like the best trap card for Tackle Blossom. Yep. Um, And it's a popper. Yeah, one, it's a popper, and then it's like scrap, it's seven, so it becomes a break point. I I think this card's super good. This card's much better than the overpowered version. Bro, poor Droma, yeah. dude. She's in the gutter right now with this shit. Yeah. What do you mean? Fuck Droma. <laughs> nah. um, scrap Compactor. Um, I think it's okay. I think this is another card. Like, I don't think it should be four. I think if it was four, it would be really good. And the fact that it's three means it's okay. This is a um, card, yes. It, it is yes. a card. This, this is certainly one of the Bright Light cards. Yeah. Um, playing your next Evo, Instant Speed. It's your. It's, you're doing it on your turn, so you don't care as much. Um, yeah, and it doesn't have go again, so it's like you need this to do that to give play the thing. So you know, it's all it's okay. It's like yeah, it's below rate. Maybe, unless maybe you're doing it's something fine. With it, right? You have this and a blue. You scrap. You play a red. Red one. Yeah, that's <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think it's okay. I think you know you might want to play it. Might not. But all right, scrap harvester. Put a steam counter on item with crank. Yeah, this I, I, a, this, this yeah. card is asking you to play everything at once, and I think you can't do that. Yes, this yeah. card is asking you to play <laughs> Crank and Scrap, which means that you probably want to play... Actually, no. There is reason to Scrap card, right? without Evos. Yeah. yeah. You, because, like, is, for example, Prismatic card, right? Lens... Yeah, you can Scrap yes. an item, right? So, yeah. Yeah. Prismatic Lens can retrieve an item from Banish and put it it's on just, top. It's just so mid. It's a 3 for 6. like, And a uh, counter. And yeah, I think you're trying to prismatic loop. This is like a role player, but otherwise, I, I don't think. Yeah, if there's some kind of combo deck, then yeah, I agree. You just keep putting that counter on your boom grenade, coming in six damage every turn. You're like, you just got to keep giving me six. No, 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 no. You put the counter on the card that mills things. Oh. And you keep yes. it up forever. Fatigue dash. You're right. You're right. Yep. This, this. <laughs> My king. Mm. All right. Scrap Prospector. Oh, I thought it says Crap Professor. No. <laughs> um, what an attack! Gain a resource. Yeah, I think it's a limited card. I can't. I mean, it doesn't have go against. Doesn't so have go again. Yeah. I mean, this is it's another like limited dash IO deck, right? Or da- yeah. dash IO card because that resource you could use to play a zero cost item from the top, and that's about yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. like this is like Scrap Trader, except you're attacking for three with an extra card. I mean, yeah. It, it on some sure, axis yeah. they are comparable, but I think. For the game plans that want to scrap, this is not. You would much rather. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, not yeah. So, Heist, hey, sorry. gas, absolutely yeah, gas. gas. However, Fantastic. however, big, big. However, this this does not come up as often as you think, unless you're running like twenty five fucking items in your deck, which I hope you're not. Yeah. Um, I think the other thing they did, unfortunately, was they made a nombo by printing Hyper X three. Because this would have been a way to get your hyper drivers back, but you can't because they go under hyper X. That's why you don't play it, it. and you just play this instead Mm -hmm. in max because this card's better. Basically, Visertronic. No, so that's. I mean, that's the question: is there might be a point where you're actually trading. You can take your your opponent's items too, so that's pretty cool. Yes, that's what I think is one. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, Like you accidentally banish a broom grenade, both dashes in the mirror match have access to that with heist. Yeah, Yeah, I like this this card in IO. I think it's good, right? Yeah. 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 All right, yeah. maximum Solid. velocity. We know this card. This card is fantastic. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Card, <laughs> you say it? it's bad. All I right, said it's back. I said it's back. Oh, it's back. I see. Yes. Yes. Moonshot. Um, moonshot. This I, card. Man, I can't evaluate this card, man. It's so hard for me. I think it's like backup for if you aren't playing mechanoid. It's like your, uh, you know, I I don't want a mechanoid for some scary reason of my item getting destroyed. I cut it and I put moonshot in. I think. Right, so yep. if you do three hyper drivers, it is uh, twelve overpower for six resources, which is pretty hard to reach. But if you have three hyper drivers that survive, because you have to boost this turn, so if you do like zero to sixty, get three resources and a blue, you go zero to sixty for four, and then you do this for twelve, and it's like three card twelve seems pretty. Th- sorry, three card sixteen seems like pretty nuts. I um, think this card's but- fantastic. But I think the issue with this is like the setup is like very hard. Yeah, you have to go through several yeah. loops. I'm Cause... I'm not a fan of like the XX cost, but yeah. otherwise, I think this is such an above rate card. I mean, if it was X, it would just be like free because you yeah. boosted, so it has to be XX. But yeah. 
Yeah, if this was X, it would be crazy. It would be. Yeah. It would just be better than Mechanoid at that point. You just run three moonshots and you kill people. It's like well, it would be like max velocity in a yeah. way for so max. I think nitro. It, its scaling makes it cool. Um, I think it's smart that it doesn't have boost. Um, but I, I think, think this is needed though, right? Because yes. like when you're trying to build Mechanoid and you don't want to in a certain matchup, right? You need this yeah. as like maximum velocity four or five and maybe six. Yeah. And, uh, it also think... depends how fast you are into creating hey! uh, creating hypercharges. So if you have like Good too evening. many, you want to make use of those. But that oh. remains to be seen, like how much, yeah. how many hypercharges you can create. Yeah, I think I think like how down. good this is will play out as the decks evolve. So I think it's yeah. like baseline, very solid, and you can only go from there. So. It's just another power card in the max deck that doesn't completely yeah. rely on nitro mech. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You can even play it with nitro mech. Yeah, you can. Because because you wait, might not draw you, mech until. Do you still like, have your? No, you put your hero under nitro mech. Do you lose your hero ability at that point? Uh, no, you don't put your hero. No, you don't. Put you don't put your hero. hero. No, you're just you're okay. building it. So it's not it's, it's not like um singularity then, right? Yeah. Okay, because then at that point, you know, if your opponent is giving you free reign and they're trying to fatigue you through nitro mechanoid, if you don't draw high octane or you boosted the moonshots, just another alternative because you yeah. can still make hyper drivers and stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The issue is once you've transformed. Uh, because you lose Banksy, it's harder to keep the Hyper Drivers around for more than a turn. That's why you I sacrifice see. it to Moonshot. Jeez. No, that's what I'm saying. But I'm saying, like, after you have Mechanoid, it's, it's harder. Yeah. But, okay, all right. Yeah. Steel Street Hoons. Trash. Yeah, I don't know. Well, don't know. in this mid rangey slash fatigue dash build that we're coping, um, Maybe, yeah. But like 3 for 5 boost is like on rate for a blue and it has galvanize. So when I first looked at it, I was like, well, wow, this card is everything. And then I was like, this deck isn't great. <laughs> it's it's yeah. alright. But yeah. like, I, mean, I, I could definitely see it in like the fatigue dash deck because it's still like a 4 block. I could see it too, but that deck doesn't but, exist yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is I think, the, is I the think they reined it in because they were worried about that deck probably because I think if this costed two, it would be like really good. If it oh yeah, because like, then you can play an item off the top also. Then it's like yeah. insane. Um, if it was like one more power, it's a, I, not you know yeah. stop me for this. Is where it was one more power, or also if it blocked three and then it had galvanized like and it stayed at this, it would be like really good, right? Yeah, um, I think there's a lot of other cards I'd rather play than this, like in either version of the deck. Yeah. But yeah. Otherwise, it's like it's it's there. It's available. Yeah, I think it's I think more wise it also works out because like the. Other side of this battle is the better card, so the police are winning, unfortunately. The Policia. Wait, there, there's a story? Such I'm just saying, card. like, the other card, the Steel Street, like, the block card, it's them catching these guys. Bro, read the art. Mm. And so All right. they won, because that card's better. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, fucking ass. Twin Drive, dude. Twin Drive. This card is insane. Absolutely this card incredible. enables max velocity so well. Yeah. I also, think this card but... is... But people need to realize when they're playing this in Dash IO, you can't fucking play items in between the boosts. Please <laughs> don't do that. You can look. You can, you look, can look. You, can't, play it, you yeah. can't do it. You have to pay all your fucking costs at the start of your turn, declare it, and then do it. do it. All right? Don't fuck Thank up. You. <laughs> Thank you, uh, you know L1 happen, Judge Judge France Tan. Like, God damn it. All right, but this card's absolutely gas, like yeah. literal and physically gas. And it was yeah. magnetic. I love the fucking art too. Honestly, Max I think B. this card is like, I don't know how to describe it. When I played with it, it's like mid, but necessary. That's how I felt playing yeah. with it in Max too. If you line it up with the cards that care about it, it feels so good. But if you yeah. ever get it outside of that, it feels like pretty mid. It's, yeah. It's yeah, like, it's just like, like you're like, using for no it's point. Just, it's just like it's, the low rate five. It's a pretty good arsenal target, though, because you have a lot of combos with it. Like, you can go this into Pulse Wave, this in with High Octane, this that's, into Magnetic. Yeah. That's why you into... play Hanabi Blaster. I mean, actually, like, if you're <laughs> yeah, going to Hanabi Blaster, yeah, this great, yeah. Right? Yeah. Actually, no, because Hanabi Blaster is... is it it's cards you've played with boost. Is it? It is actually I thought it's how many Hanabi boosts. No, it's it tragic. I will check it out. But we can nerf a BB Blaster. Please. <laughs> Please. Uh, okay, so stop. Start. If you Next want, turn. you can only declare one boost if you want, right? Or do you have the to do third one? Time you play a card with boost each turn, put a steam counter on this. Uh, yeah. That's anyway. RIP. 
Uh, magnetic lock wave. Yep. Terrible. Not good. Awful. What? Yeah, Triple X. Killer, yeah. killer art what? deck. One set. It just costs too much. Yeah. That's yeah, playing that X, right there. You know, shout out to Vin Diesel, but like, not <laughs> <laughs> System All right. Failure. System failure. Another really polarizing like mirror card. Yes. Like really, really polarizing. I don't know. Like if you if you catch a an opposing dash IO with like four or five counters, this and they're waiting for high octane, and you hit them with this, you're like, eh. nerd. <laughs> yeah. It also you know. blocks for two. I don't. This is this is a weird card. Yeah. Yeah. Very niche. Yellow pitch. It's it's a weird side. It's just card slightly pitch. awkward. Super awkward. I mean, it's also a card where it feels like it's like a limited bomb. So maybe that's what they were really thinking. But yeah. all right, system reset. This card is fucking sweet. <laughs> it's yeah. Let let yeah. Let's, let's let other people. To, let, you know. Yeah. No no no. This is where you pay six. You banish six items. Crank all six of them and attack with Dash IO's weapon six times. Yes. Because you're getting six items on the board. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the here. I mean, you, you, I mean, you could still get value out of this card. I think this card is still decently strong. I, even if I wish this card was an instant. I think make it like XX thing. an instant. That'd, That'd have be been aggressive. sweet. That'd be a little aggressive. Let's let. I mean, I imagine the scenario: you have one item with crank on the board with no counters on it. You play one from hand. You crank it. You play one off the top, you crank it, you get two action points now, you spend one of them on a system reset, bam bam, you get three back, you now have four action points, and you spent two blues and system reset, that's eight damage for three cards. It's That's below rate. Yes, but... Oh, but you, yeah, it's still the below rate. The only way this card is like gas is if you have like pounders and techno cores and stuff like that. Like when you got the good, oh, no, yeah. no, you can't do wrong. pounder. Yeah, no, yeah. this card isn't it. This card isn't it. Hits, it. <laughs> I guess. But card no, no, no. It. You play, you play the dissolving shield because that one comes with multiple counters. So you can set up multiple dissolving shields, crank it to play them out, wait for next turn, play more dissolving shields, then you system reset and you can shoot six times. The fatigue list is coming together. <laughs> Nine dissolving shields. Nine dissolving shields. Lock, shield. out. Oh. It's lock out of Kano if you play signal jammer, right? But Jesus. Mm. Yeah, I don't think it's it though. Hey, no, it's, it's definitely not it. The Fabricate. Oh, the goat. This card is insane. <laughs> the art of war. Holy shit! Oh, Literally man. mech art of war. It's so good. Uh, I think most of the time you're playing it for the second ability and the fourth ability. Um, and then if you're setting up for Singularity, you're doing the third ability. Or if you're playing the Finisher Evos, you're doing the third ability. And you are doing it out of necessity if you are doing the first ability. This card is so modal. It's insane. It's so good. This like, was the thing that protected me from, like, Meganetic in the mirror or against any mechs. Because it saves your temper cards because it is plus one for the rest of the turn. So Yeah. Uh, this card it's, is it's so very funny. good. It, it is also, they were smart making it Evo permanence you control. So uh, you can't, like, buff your cards in hand. Mm. Yeah. So I think it's I think it's quite good. Um, this card is indeed good. It is a really unique, interesting card. Instance, yeah. mech instant. First mech instance, yeah. It's yeah. Codex for Teclavos. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far, but mm. it's pretty good. It, it's Art of <laughs> War for Tech of Austin. Yeah. It's it's like defensive Art of War, basically. Yeah. So. It's... Yeah. But I think there's like a distinct hierarchy of abilities, right? So I think it's... Yeah. You can't New Zealand Art of War this. Oh, goodness. Hey, moving <laughs> on to Bulbar. jeez. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, card is trash. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just like it's, it's really good. You want to play this, otherwise you don't. It's just another like two for five with boost, and it's just it's mid. It's like yeah, tackle Vassen is really good. You want to play this, otherwise you don't. Like, I would rather play. I don't even think you want it. Yeah. yeah, there's just yeah. there's just killer too many limited. two for fives now. Yeah, there's think, so many two for fives now. I think this is killer and limited, but otherwise, yeah, yeah I'm good. Yeah. Spring a leak. 
Mirror. Yeah. Yep, another mirror another card. polarizing mirror card. Mirror card. I mean, this is, I mean, it's they put in these cards card. for a set where you're only playing mirrors, so it's like, okay. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm, I'm okay with it, but, like, at the same time, I'm not okay with some of these for Constructed. I think this is a great seal card, but, like, there's too many. I mean, there's other options for the Constructed. I think they're fine in Constructed and just dual box. And it's up to the player yeah, to, like, decide cool. on dedicating the sideboard, sp the sideboard slots for these. Like, let's say, you know, you're, you're from a little town, one guy keeps winning your armory, and he's just on dash, and you just want to really beat him up, then you play all the hate cards. Yeah. Couldn't be me. <laughs> Couldn't be me. <laughs> Couldn't yep. be any of us, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, after this we got a uh, couple shot. of one of color cycles. Yeah. So Big Shot is like mini worse maximum They're losses. just like yeah. enders. It, it's a finisher, right? So this is a three cost and attacks for eight in comparison to maximum velocity, which is a two cost and attacks for ten. Yeah. Yes. So, but it requires three boosts. It's much more playable, but it is worse. So. It's a little booty. Boost. I, mean, I, I, probably I don't even good. know if it's more playable. Three cost is huge. Yeah. Two yeah, cost I mean, is like, nice. Yeah, you don't have to, you don't have to boost three times, right? That's like the difference. So. Yeah, I just, I still think three costs is a huge deal breaker. I mean, me. it's it's doable if you have like zero to sixty zipper hit foundry big shot. Yeah, I yeah. mean it. it yeah, the yeah. just not there. I don't think I don't think we're playing it CC. I think it's I think it's fine and limited. I think it's probably good. And yeah, limited, it's but, great and limited, but CC. Yeah, I think it's just just fine. Yeah, burn rubber. Burn rubber. Better. Uh, Seven. It, block by equipment. It's it's good. It's another. I think it's another limited card. I think it's better like, than Big Shot. Yeah. I think it's Evos. Yeah, I think. It, I mean, I think it is strictly better than Big Shot, probably because I think yeah. seven can't be blocked by equipment is better than eight. But yep. I still don't think we're playing this card. And then smash, smash and grab. grab. Yeah, this one. This card. Yeah. This card is I great. I can see this. Because this I is. I can see this sideboard. It's a break or two point. Sideboard. And it takes an item. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, just sideboarding this in, you just gotta be careful of like the ratios of Avengers you have in your deck. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Gigawatt. This card's sweet. Uh, it's four damage. I I don't. It blocks two, unfortunately. But this card is sweet. I mean, I don't. I'm not playing this card. Can you catch Miles playing it? it? Well, because <laughs> I think the issue here is it's just like a non-attack. The fact it blocks two is a non-attack. Um, you would much rather. Like this is yellow zipper hit is better than this. This just reminds me of a ranger card, and I just don't want to look at it. To be honest. Um, I think if there were, <laughs> I think if there were flashbacks. more, like crippling on hit effects, maybe you're playing this. But I think um, I wouldn't run this just because it it there's no boost. Yeah, you would almost always rather have a card that boosted in place of this for like the same. You know what? Actually, yeah. there's there's other pumps in this set that we'll get to that are better, right? All right, firewall. Firewall. <laughs> This card was pretty cool when it first came out. Yeah, and it looks so sick. But yeah. now, what is your opinion of it? Um, I think in in, if you're playing boost Teclavasen, I can see it. I could see it in Max if you really need. You don't want to play Sync, but you can play this, sure. Um, I think in Tank Teclavasen, it is a big trap because... You're not boosting. You don't care about this being mechanologist. You should just play Fate for Senior Sync below yeah, instead. Uh, yep. I feel like Fate for Senior is just way better. Um, you also don't get to choose with this. It's if it's an emo, keep it. If it's not, get rid of it. And that's not great feeling. And it's giving I, them more information. Getting pack called moments. Oh, yep. It's Blood Rush Bellow. Put it to the bottom, and you're just like, ah, it feels terrible. Yeah. Well, pack like, call was great. Okay. If it was a five, if if it blocked five, then but then that would I think that'd be a little bit too strong. Then It'd be Busted. Just fire away. Yeah, it'd be really way too. Yeah, um, there are definitely situations for it. I think it'll come up at some point, and I think you only are ever playing red. But um, I think initially I am cool on firewall. All right, downshifted zero to six. All right, favorite card in the set. All right, flavor text on point. Oh, ten out of ten. Yeah. Everything else these, about these, this. These are all limited cards. This is a three out of ten. Yeah. Yeah. Literally, wait, wait, downshifted. The, Go back to the art. It's literally zero to sixty, but if the, you looked at it from the side, yep, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> it going a little slower, dude. You know? Yeah, you're just like you're you're the person like you're the police, and this is happening, and you just oh, this guy's just 
you know, went around. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yep. I think it's just to slow down the sealed game. Because, yeah. like, if, if somebody's drafting, like, 3 0 to 60, or, you know, like, a good couple of reds, like, you're not stopping that deck. That deck is killing yeah. you in, like, two, three turns. Yeah. So, this is, this is fun. We lost Carlos. This, this is this better is than that. Another That's like a Zeru. Yeah. yeah. This is better than the pump card you, you talked about, Francis. Yes. Yeah, it is. Yes. It, it is much better than the pump card. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Unless there is some world where, like, on hit, I'm. Uh, no, no, yeah. It's just better. No. But, I mean, uh, Zebra Hit's just tilt. better, so. Yeah. Full so tilt. Reminds me of the. Um... Weaker throttle. Yeah, downshifted throttle. Yep. That's it. Fine. That's yep. all what these cards are. All right. Gas Guzzler. The Guzzle. It's a popper. I think, sure. Okay. It's, it's the fine. I think it's the worst it's of them. Popper. Names Because yeah. the three great. cost is just so prohibitive. Blocks three. Yep. I love the name. Ties in with the cost. Like, you're just wasting. Yeah, really. Not efficient. Yep. Yeah. It's just a dude with a chainsaw. <laughs> All right. Crankshaft. Uh, Crankshaft. Love this card. Blueprint. Fantastic. Yeah. And it's great. It's All right. Card, actually. Big, Big Bertha. Bertha. Oh, that's my right here. Yeah, Yo, absolutely. Bertha. It's so Yo, I'm cosplaying this. Popper this for game, Catch bro. all five of us cosplaying this, this, this shit. This, yes, this one's playable. This yeah. is my woman, dude. Yeah, I think this is so funny. I think this is such a flavorful card. Uh. <laughs> I should send the picture of the... <laughs> no, okay, maybe not. We'll save that for the fans. We'll save that for the Patreon that we open in like a year. Jumpstart. Also, reprint. Also fantastic good. card fantastic it's uh card. another zipper hit if you have a hyperdriver so yep. this is like, great fantastic Strong. max card rev up rev up uh it's another throttle, it's a conditional throttle another throttle yeah conditional literally conditional throttle, throttle. yeah it's good that's good it's good i mean do yeah, you even yeah. play throttle in max yeah i'm i'm thinking yeah. of cutting it so well, yes because it's a popper but yeah i don't know all right data link Terrible. i've seen a lot of people play this card and i do not think it's good yeah i don't know why i think it's just it's so weird that there's this and zero to fifty in the same set when they do exactly the same thing except for this one has opt one. It's just better on yeah. hit. It's because it's a one set um, or one class set. Like they kind of have to yeah. do this. Yeah. It's kind of weird. All right, dive you for have data. Aether hail data. and mounting anger. You know, I think this one <laughs> teeters on the edge of playable. Like, yes. oh yeah, this yes. one's playable. Yeah, it is strictly worse rate damage wise yes. than, but. But it has a relevant one, on it. Opt one could be relevant. Like, Op I think relevant in dash IO. Yes. Specifically yeah. because this is a four instead of a three. Yes. Yeah. Like, I think this is one of the new boost cards that might sneak into decks and be okay. Yep. Yep. You can even run it in max and rush your your mech faster. I don't yeah. Know. That's I I have it in there for that. I think I think that's fine. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. All right. Sprocket Rocket. Love the name. Uh, conditional zero to sixty. So yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Not the worst I think, thing, I think not the best the thing. The last card you're putting in if you need another boost card. Yep. It's like how hard can this condition like fire? It's not going in over T bone though, you know? So it's like if you need yeah, another yeah. zero cost, yeah. I'm, I'm like, saying like out of position. Yeah. And then yeah, this is it could be a dash card for sure. Yeah. Dash card and uh I mean you can play it in the tech load dude too. Right, right, yeah, boost, boost tackle boss, and I think you probably run this. Alright, this is a one cost version of Sprocket think... Rocket. Yeah, same thing. These are cards that are work much better in Teclovasen. The conditional zipper hit. These even fit in Teclovasen though, because you already have zero to sixty and zipper hit, and you're running Evos. Yeah, I think it'd, it'd probably be better with Dash if you're. I think Sprocket sneaks in maybe. Uh, the other ones, I think, paying more than zero is too much. Yeah. All right, expedite. Um, trash. Also, yeah, I heard someone say that this is like the snatch guy, and I'm like, really? Is it? It looks, he's, he has a similar pose. He's got that, he's got that red like Isn't little the luscious scarf at the box. The luscious locks. Yeah, I think it's he has right. a similar pose, but yeah, the card's yeah. not great. Not Once again, playing items from hand yeah, just isn't it. All right, this yeah, card is much oh. better. It's because as soon as you get a break, because it's a break point. Yeah, right, yeah, exactly. It's better, yeah. but I still but don't. You still don't want to play it, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. An outpace is uh, limited card. It seems like. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, uh, pretty good because it draws can block with evos from hand. Same with lay waste. This is pretty nice. Like, they're both just like quite good limited cards, but I don't, I don't see you wanting to play. Lay waste so. is two cost though. Yeah, two for five. Yeah, two for five. Yeah, and then Fender Bender. All right. It's a uh, it's other good it's limited good. card, I think. Yeah. Good versus Teclo Vossen, <laughs> yep. as expected. Sheesh. Panel Beater. Just one more cost. Another. More power. Yeah. All right, Underloop. This guy is sick. This guy looks sweet. 
Yeah. <laughs> I think I think it's this is a card where I was like, wow, I want to play under loop. This is like Max's point, uncle. Red. <laughs> I'm finding that I would rather play dive through data than under loop because it accelerates you towards things you want. Yeah, yeah. under loop and over loop are like twins and they just kind of got the different persona life. I was going to say Underloop is like this guy's dad, where he's like, back in my day. Uh, Maybe they were separated at birth, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Underloop's like, I had it harder than you, and Overloop's like, shut yeah. the fuck up. Like, you don't know anything about the real world. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think, okay, to be fair, I think this is a conditional card. I think Overloop was always also a conditional card before. Yep. I think they're both uh, pretty meh now, because I think yeah, I think so. I think most mech necks can go so right. over the top that like you don't really need yeah. that effect, yep. unless you're playing against heavy fatigue. Yeah. Gas up. Gas up. I think. This card's gas. This card is actually gas, yeah. I yeah. think um, it's great in... Uh, potentially, I'm mostly leaning on blue as a resource card because I think in uh, max, this allows you to gain two action points. Uh, because Indeed. Because you gain go again, and then you can crank the hyperdriver um, that you get back. With the nine I, hyperdrivers you're playing, like you, you're you going to hit one. Well, the, real, the real lookout for this card is like you have it once you establish Mechanoid, and the first things you banish from under it are the Hyperdrivers. Yep. And then you recur them with Gas Up. Yep. Um, for double action points and resource cheating, uh, because it's like it'll get you two attacks with Mechanoid when you play it. So I think uh, Blue seems quite good to, for me. Um, I think oh, Red's harder because you, don't, blues. because you don't want to draw Red early. Like, it's really bad early yeah, game. Uh, you only want it after Mech. Yeah. So. You don't want too um, many of these. Yeah, but I think this card's like pretty good. All Situationally right. pretty good. Quick fire. It's Graves. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Mafia City Graves. Um, this is like... Uh, I don't know if I'd ever want to pay one for this. I mean, it's just Gigawatt. Then, right? it's wait, just Gigawatt okay, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. wait, wait. I was like, you were saying Gigawatt's sick, and then this is... Yeah, no, I don't think that. Traditional Gigawatt. I don't think you want to play this even for free. Wait, is this is that a one or a two in the corner? Two. It's two. two. Okay. Yeah. Conditional Gigawatt. Yep. Yeah, or conditionally better. I think... Uh, yeah, it's not where you want to be. All right, recharge. I think this card's good. Card's good. It's better, it's better gigawatt. It is better gigawatt. Sick. Gigawatt with yeah. extra text. Uh, I think I really think for establishing nitro mechanoid, getting the extra steam counter back is quite primo. So yeah, I feel like this um, card's at least, strong with Max though too. Yeah, I'm at least testing this guy out uh, with Max. All right, Teclonic Force Field. Yeah, Teclonic Force Field. I don't think. This is a this. very niche card, but... Limited card. Limited for card, sure. for sure. No, not just that. Fatigue dash card, probably, potentially. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, now we're getting to good stuff. Shriek Razors. No. Unplayable. Absolutely Tau -tau trash. No. Absolute yeah. dog shit. <laughs> art is killer. Tau -tau -tau -tau. Again. Yeah, art is fantastic, but is we, get the, we get the full line from Tao Tao, and Tao Tao has said this card has shit. Yeah. And I believe yeah. it. Hey, um, feel free to, to disprove us. If you cook up, all the viewers, if you guys cook up something good, feel free. We are we would love yeah, to be wrong. Yeah, feel free. I, yeah. I, yeah. I don't want to be like, wrong. I'm just going to call you dog is, shit. Fire Sprite <laughs> is this, basically. And I feel like Flick Knight just gives so much more interplay. Yeah. yeah. I just, and and the fact you, that this costs two back, so many is ridiculous. Yeah. Cost this is, two, this and it destroys the, itself off of it, too. This is the budget Plus, Flick Knives. Yeah, and plus you want to re use your silver to get either mask or boots back. Is this yeah. even going to be budget so flick knives? Like, no. no. Yes. In a world where no, you're it's not. Like this, a is, lot this, of silver. this is going to be hard to get, like, physically. It's an expansion slot. I mean, I mean some, sometimes things that are hard to get but unusable become really cheap. No, tell that to Raven right, Foil I mean, okay, Raven Foil flick knives is like 20 bucks, so I think you're playing. Yeah, and this will be like 15 or 10. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Already good. dead. Oh, so good. Oh, yeah. so good. Fantastic. I love the name too. Offer. Tao Tao was running Amnesia before this. Now yeah. he doesn't. Now yeah, he can yeah, actually run both. You know, Officer well, you know, actually... threatens to banish equipment that you block with. Mm -hmm. like, so good. No, Carlos. Not for the Katsu. <laughs> Katsu's are rising. He's like, you should keep the Amnesia, man. <laughs> yeah, I think this. I think this card just like knocks out another bad, or not bad, but like middling two for six. I yeah, this is so good. Yeah, this is so good. All right, oh, Man. so much. Twitter already had a field one. day with this one. Let's skip it. Yeah, yeah, honestly, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, yeah okay. I, like it, it's fine. It's fine. 
Alan. All right, Alan. <laughs> yeah. Create what, X. What do you think, professional? So the art looks nice. Thanks, Carl. Turn one. Yeah, pretty much. It. You make nine seismic surge tokens, and then you top deck <laughs> a pulverize and a blue, and you dominate that baby. And block six. Mm. And block six. Uh, this card is absolutely right terrible. <laughs> this card is absolutely terrible. Oh. The art's it, really cool, though. I really yeah. like the art. Blocks for two so, doesn't count for n no. It those. reminds me of TFT a little bit. <laughs> I I, I would. I don't, I would rather I play really Blue awakening, Towering Titan honest. than this. Oh yeah, you're right, it does Awakening. Uh, let's so say that it block three, is this possible? Is this a possible card? No. It block three? Yeah, I don't... The, the blues are actually, like, tight. Oh, tight. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so so my moment. question is, like, I don't... There's, like, the new cards with, like, that towering payoff thing from the TCC set. Indeed. Like, are you ever trying to play this with, like, oh, I set up... I play this, and then I spend my rest on the aura... And then I do that thing, like not in current <laughs> decks, but is that a future line for like a deck? Is that what they're trying to do? Yeah, I mean, is this be. card just troll? Is this card just pure? This, this, this card has... troll because it doesn't play into either style, oh, honestly. This that has to go a, again. It plays into a high roll. Like it there has... are some builds that will build auras. That's like, what I'm saying. For you play and stuff. this and then you play the aura. That's probably... but like yeah, yeah, There's no yeah. bonus to this one really. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's I'm... that. That is what I was thinking. Um, yeah. it's unfortunate. All right, Carlos. Carlos has off. Yeah. Absolutely. You can't. You can't play this. You can't just slot this into like a normal cot stick. You have to like full send, control Katsu. and you have to line only up. Only Oliver were here. Yeah, if only Oliver were here. Yeah, he'd think about no. the glory crucible days. He would love this card. flavor. Flavor is so high. Zen state tokens great, uh, but it's just like you have to like really tailor the deck composition to make this card work. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I think you'd much rather just be like killing your opponent, right? Yeah, like, Akatsu definitely has the tools to like do that, and it's more fun. So, all right, what has Shin said about this card? He likes it's like those. an interesting decision point. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I it's the blues are so tight in Dory right now, and the fact no, that this not. is in... no, I think some of the they're blues pretty are tight. Bad. I think the blues are pretty bad. I think he yeah. has plenty of rooms room for. Like, yeah, I think you would run this over out. like Iron Song or something. Yeah, Blue know? Iron Song response. He already has. Iron Song responses isn't even less. I don't think it's like oh, the also that one that's like precision play, press. The, the precision press. Yeah, that one's pretty. No, that blue is pretty Pier good. That, that's yeah, great because it gives okay. Domblay go again. It's plus one piercing and go yeah. again for a blue. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, there's glint. There's piercing. There's the precision press. This is, this is just what a else? soul read card where if it ever goes off, you're like, oh. It's, just, it's also one of those soul check cards. You have to really like know. I don't think I'd ever play like three of this though. Unless like no, you yeah, know, I think it's like a two or maybe like, yeah. I, I will say it, it is a replacement for like the burns of the burns of the past. What, the that's burns the of the past. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, Shin, okay. Shin, yeah, yeah. Shin probably will replace that with this. Yeah. That uh, makes sense. Because um, it has yeah. Dory on the art. Like, why I, would you not I, run it? I don't know. I think it's still right. a decently it, strong card. It's playable. It's just like a high. It. Skill. I think it's. I think it's a good yeah. card. It. It's a Riptide killer. <laughs> Speaking That's of Riptide, get that dog shit out the fuck. What do you mean? You mean? This card's sick. great, dude. This I love sick. this card. I've heard both sides of this. I've heard both sides of this. I love this card. It's a great late game. It's so pushed. It's just four for nothing. It's so good. So it's zero, zero for two. If this wasn't <laughs> it turns on your trap. If we weren't gonna go into like a mech era, I'd actually consider playing Riptide because of this card. <laughs> Dude, this is Such one of the, this a, I is can't the, believe that. the same sentiment as uh, no the Teclavasan cards. It's like, pitch it early, kill somebody with it late game. It's like, really good. Yeah, yeah you play it versus Dory, and then you kill him with traps. I don't know. No, until I you play Burns it. that I gotta fast. see it to, to believe it, but <laughs> I saw this and I was like, I don't know about this one, dude. It's good. They really should have just something. gave Riptide like a six cost arrow that came in for 12. Yeah. Like you gotta, you gotta give me some like, a six cost, <laughs> bro. Really Riptide like, doesn't even play dude. blues, dude. Riptide's like playing like three, four blues top. Tops. No, they play like six. So, this yeah, is blue seven blue through nine top. right here. In fact, this might even be blue four to six for a lot of people. Yeah, because well, if, no, if you're playing a ton of traps, then you're gonna have more blues, like six. I mean, that's what, seven, that's what the devs want eight? people to lean on when playing Riptide. That's like his. Well, because I think I think red line's just bad. No well, offense. it's worse now because of Bullseye Bracer just being out of the way. But when yeah, it comes yeah. back, I feel like it's more on the menu. Yeah, It's on the menu, but it's like... 
not great. I think <laughs> it's fine now because yeah, it's, now it's like cards playable. Only... Somebody's gonna figure out how to use this card. It's for sure late game, but I just I think they could have made something better for. I Riptide. think the issue Riptide with Riptide that. is yeah. that like if you're redline, you're not quite good enough, and if you're playing slower, then you don't use your big hands well enough, like redline does. Yeah. Yeah. So finding that sweet spot is really hard when you have so many hoops to jump through. Because you got defense is, reacts, you have trench, you have D reacts, you have arrows. I'm just waiting for Icelander to LL and then counters. Riptide again. I feel like both archetypes <laughs> are like okay, but the worst match of Droma, I feel like the red line just needs to be the, the pick because that's the only one that can really pressure Droma. Yeah. Nourishing loop is really funny though. Oh yeah, yeah the uh <laughs> oh yeah. Nourishing loop. Yeah. All right. All right. France. Ooh. I like this card. Ooh. Oh, I fucking love this card. Oh, this card's oh, pretty cool. Oh my yeah. god. I I loved Skeletal Viz back in the day. This just slots straight into fucking LL format Viz. And I still don't think it's good enough to bring Viz back to like the tank Viz or like the OTK Viz. Oh, like CC? Yeah. Yeah. But it is still such a sweet card. What if you just ran a, a 60 blue deck? No, 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 I would run a, like a 32 <laughs> blue deck. There's so many blues that you can play already. Like, for the CC no, no meta, now, I feel like it's just underwhelming at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because this requires card, you to keep you know all five yeah. cards, right? Yeah. Like yes. this is your arsenal plus four cards and in hand. You have a crown of providence and all, like, now. And you so don't you really want to use margin on this. <laughs> Guarantee a blue? Guarantee Damn. a blue. <laughs> <laughs> you draw into another one? Arsenal makes some rune. You, you play that one weapon that pings arcane and doesn't attack. Oh, the the book? No, 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 no not, not the book. book. The the, the two cost. Oh, the one. scepter. The yeah, scepter. the scepter. Yep, okay. yep, yep. Yeah, this card's sick. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be cooking with this, but not necessarily. art also fantastic. I mean, the art on all these cards is like pretty great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except for this one. This card's okay, trash. This this one. This I'm is so a card. Sorry. This this you know, is a throwback. trap. This one is throwback. very style. It's very stylized. I like the idea. Throwback to our, our debut but, video. When I was talking about the card Tao Tao roasted me about, this is what I was talking about. I was like, oh, you could see this play. And he was like, this card is terrible. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? You're right. My fault. <laughs> I think, you know, what happens is you got a local Icelander player and they hate me. They play this when I'm playing Teklavasen and I have like two intellect. <laughs> <laughs> But, like, I, I, this card is not good, man. Yeah, it is and not then, then you go Spider and then swing six again. Never mind. Yeah, this card is... Well, wait, so let's talk about why it's bad, though, because, you know. All right. Okay. It's because it costs, it costs two. 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 Yeah. First off, it costs two. One, okay, so the other thing is you have to play it on your opponent's turn to not have a downside on your turn. Um. So, like, Icelander could pull this off, technically, but... What benefits do you have just, doing yeah. that? Yeah, the issue is you, you lose damage because you're playing this, right? Because the, yeah. the, the corollary of this is like oh, Ice Bolt, right? You need, yes, Ice Bolt. And, and Ice Bolt is... Emeritus. Three, Emeritus, channel four. Like, channel like, channel like yeah. anything in the same ballpark as this. Plus is the like Frostbite, so, so you're much. already doing damage. Like, like, the other thing is this, this does not stop anything on their current turn. It is yeah. like making their next turn worse. Um, yeah. so I think it's just like the cost to do this effect is too high. Yeah. Yeah. And you never want to put this into Kano. Two, which is just like the last nail in the coffin. Yeah. You never want to play this yeah. in Kano. For those of people no, no. that were thinking about it, fuck off. You don't, no, don't no. play Kano. No. Hey, maybe not fuck off. Maybe you like do it and have fun, Kano. but like. Just don't play Kano. You don't what? know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Get off that character. Speaking be... of bad blue cards, no. let's, let's move on to the next. Oh, dude. Oh, oh. hates oh. this <laughs> Yeah. So I think all right. Let's, let's break down this card. All right. Okay. So blue ores. If you go back to Everfest, all of those cards are sick. They're gas. Yeah. They have Spectra, and I think there has been a huge move away from Spectra in the design ethos, which may, I don't agree with. I think so many players hated Spectra that it had to die for the. They didn't hate it level. until she was at nine ninety eight. <laughs> sure. Yeah. But I think it's like such a feels bad for like new players specifically. Mm -hmm. So this move to Ward. Is now it feels bad for the player playing Prism. <laughs> um, good, they deserve the phantasm, it. Phantasm, dude. I mean, I think the old. What are, what are you doing with this? That would be good. Oh, I have like nine 
spectral shield set up and you're breaking all of them, and then this gets like juiced from that happening. It and then I attack with it and you phantasm pop it and I'm like, it, okay, cool. Well, no, the, 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 the spectral shields wouldn't even count because it's card and tokens aren't cards, right? I Unless they, they oh, are they change, they changed it for max. I don't know if they're changing it for this. Okay. We we will check in with uh, our local rules committee person Patrick after this about this card. <laughs> but like that's the uh, best case scenario. You're that's already like and, that's like a win more situation already. Yeah. yeah. More. So uh, I think they pulled too many levers on this. Like the ward one feels like the real insult here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. On top of it, so it was just think, phantasm. You would never attack with it. You would just let it be there. Yeah, I think if this instead of ward was like spectra, or if instead of phantasm it was like ward and spectra. Like, maybe. I think it's just too many. I think this card just plays more into what Prism was already good at, building board state and beating up on slower, taller decks. Yeah. Doesn't help anywhere else. Yeah. So, I think it's just a little, a little rough. Yeah. Maybe we'll see something cooking with this in the future. And it has Phantasm. Yeah. I mean, I would love... This is a card I would love to see if they de developed a hero to get around this. Um, How is this in Dromai? Illusionist card... If a dragon's destroyed or popped, and if they're trying to hit dragons, if they're trying to clear dragons, you get more value. The problem is this has it's ward still one. Ward that's, one. That's a problem. Yeah. It's a ward one. Because if somebody's mm -hmm. going wide and killing your dragons, they can just as easily chip you and destroy this. So yeah, I, I got it. I think that's a problem. You play this into passing mirage as Droma, <laughs> and sure. then you're like, you gotta gotta pick. <laughs> I mean, also, no, it's, it's, it's Unless good they're ninja. It's instant, but it doesn't block, so that's another problem. So, yeah. Oh, it has no, no block. Yeah, I mean, it's an instant, yeah. So, oh, it's an instant. Yeah, okay, I, okay. I think seems terrible now. Hopefully, some future design Maybe in the makes future. it relevant. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, no. I'm All just right. going to speak from the heart. I don't understand why LSS has such a hard-on for Dromai. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like the, there's a lot of love for Illusionist. So, um, like two cards two cards one of them that is good. why you struggle <laughs> one of them guaranteed good the second one possibly good this feels like compared to the Warren's other game. expansion slot cards which were dead on arrival yeah yeah so i think okay let's let's talk about this like a little more but i think everybody has like heard discourse on like in dramatis and saying you can now get away with playing like all red you can tumult have like it's crazy right but is there any world in which you're somehow <laughs> cooking a royal fight deck with this and i think the answer is immediately no because your head slot is so insane you cannot give it up for yeah royal at all yeah so, there's no way i, I actually got no you're love still outputting an insane amount of damage as far yeah so i think yeah. maybe future other draconic hero are, are you playing the other thing uh maybe not cc but uh if you're playing emperor this card is insane and emperor it's gas and emperor right? yes it's nuts. so uh you know maybe that was part of the idea with this is that it's like love for uh, Emperor, so they were like, "Oh, it's good for Emperor," and then they were like, "Oh, well, shoot!" It's also Surely they could have designed a card that was good for Emperor and Fi. What is what is Dromai playing for headgear right now? Either some Crown, crown, crown or, 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 or Crown, yeah, yeah, Crown, or crown. one of the Crowns, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, Dust, Chromai. I, I, I dust. hate I hate that they printed this card. Yeah. Like <laughs> this is player. literally only for the Bravo matchup. Is it that bad breaking? Correct and saying no, no, no. It's it's not. That's the thing. But okay. the fact that they keep printing cards for the Bravo matchup <laughs> when it's like you ask any draw my player and they're like, Bravo's fine, Bravo's fine, Bravo's easy. I I beat Bravos all day, and so it's like, why why would you print this for them? Like why 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 make my life harder? <laughs> 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 Every draw my you ask will already say Bravo's a fine matchup. Is it actually though? I feel like it's not. Not in my opinion. Well, I mean, the other thing but is in every Droma, it's a it's a ninety ninety matchup. Oh, okay. But you okay, don't, you don't yeah, see yeah. me getting cards for Dromai. <laughs> I've been running the same sixty for like a year. <laughs> I think the other thing is like there's a couple other fringe decks that this is like. Okay, I take that back. We got Starstruck. I take that like, back. Okay, yeah, fair, fair, fair. We got Starstruck. That um, card is gas. Like when I'm playing like Aggro Dash, for example, Dromai is a really hard matchup because. A lot of your attacks are at breakpoints where you're wasting damage to kill dragons. And if you're ever lucky enough previously to draw one of your, like, nine poppers against a Chromai, it was great. And this stopping that feels really bad. Well, yep. your pistol comes in for two, though, right? And you can just pop Chromai. Mm. Yeah, what do you mean? Like, think... on the turn it comes out, right? Like, that's... that's oh, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Um, so, I mean, anything that stops Phantasm, just... Mm. I, I think this card will just be too slow, but I already know for the Bravo matchup, they could cook up some Ash, Tromai, Trom Chromai, Chromai, Lost in Thought, Ghostly Touch turn at the end of the game, and I'm just like... Ugh. Oh my god! You just giving you're just giving them more ideas, and I'm just like just just let <laughs> just let the matchup be. Let she's at like eight. Yeah. She's at like seven hundred something points or something, right? What draw by yeah. or six hundred, five hundred? All right, maybe five hundred. There's no she's way one, she's she's like one of the highest. She's one of the highest. Well, I will like, I will check and reconfirm. Let's maybe she's like 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 in that sixtieth percentile, sixty five. Um, sure. Because Dash is up there, right? Dash, that's six hundred. I'll, I'll, I'll look there. up. We can move on to the Warband, though. As a, as a all right, okay. This is a poggers. This, this card this I've been great. hearing all this about for uh, Bolton. This card is not poggers. So I France and I like... were talking about this card. I'm really down on this card. I am really, I'm really, really down people. on this card. This card blocks three. It's in. Yeah, but like <laughs> to my quote thing, all of people are like, well, it's optional. <laughs> but like, you already could have played Arcanized Skull Cap, and I know it's like situational, but like. You weren't, because, like, the head slot is so contested. Like, there's a lot of good Bolton decks that are playing Crown of Dominion for the, like, crazy, you know, cash I mean, turns. Yes. I and think then otherwise you want Crown of Dominion, like, Crown of Providence, because you need to protect five guardians. Yes. I think in a Raiden list, this, this effect isn't that great. Like, sure, it can fix a hand that was really bad and make it into a, just a kind of bad turn. Um, but you know yeah. everyone's cooking with a saber bolton, so let them yeah. do their thing. I think the only yeah. like plus side to this that I can see is it it fixes your hand for like your pop off turn from a, a really bad list. turn like to a yeah, if you have, like, a really, if you have really no charge turn. cards. But so no, okay, okay. That I want I want to push back because that's the thing that people always say is like, oh, no charge cards. Like if your hand has no charge cards, using this is not going to make it that much better. Like. Well, I'm, I'm is, talking is still going to be like in, in the same. I'm list, talking though. specifically for like so a, when you're trying to combo, like immediately, yeah. like you're on the ropes and you need to combo. That's the only upside I can I mean, see to this card. You have to have Lumina, and then like instead of like Lumina, you just have. I mean, yeah, or you go to one and you're like, I need a top deck this Lumina so, right now. Like, <laughs> it's just so awful. I did do. And I, like, I don't think it's oh. awful, but I think it's like a lot of people being like, oh, it saves you when there's no boost, or saves you in this, are just people who have not played Bolton before. It, it's like, not, yeah, it's not a savior. Whoa, whoa, because, which is like, most Josh people, which loves is this card. I know, but it's it's like, that's the problem though, is like, people hear him and he's really talking about like specific cases, and people are like, oh, it's got to be good everywhere. And I think like, if you're playing a Raiden deck or you're playing another kind of like aggro focused variant that's not trying to combo, you're better off with other headpieces, and like, you shouldn't be necessarily convinced this is like the best you always play it. I don't think yeah, it's... honestly, Crown of Providence is just a cracked ass card. So yeah, I think that's yeah. like the real thing here. If you're playing um, Aggro Raiden, then yes, I don't think this card's that important. Yes. So if you're um, on Sabers, it is probably important. Yeah, I think it's best card it's in the game sabers. coming up. <laughs> slay. slay, fucking slay! What? Like, why? I don't get it, man. I don't. <laughs> they literally just did this why? for fun. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> It's they should next they should print a card that says it's giving. <laughs> <laughs> it's super, this super flavorful. Very, very flavorful. <laughs> well they also printed Vincent on it and she could already do this. Like I don't was it, I was the idea just to say like, hey, we have a shadow card because Teclo can turn shadow and we're just like What are we are we worried about angels? Like I thought we just no, like, no, go this, face this is prison. this is probably like an Easter egg for something to come mm. is my prediction. Yeah, it just because this card really feels so out of place, right? Off the back yeah. of DGD. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, like they, they just brought out the the co-op thing, right? Like, which angel is that? That's dead, huh? Ah. Maybe it's a clue. Maybe it's a clue. All the lower heads <laughs> out there can figure it out. This is this this part's not sarcasm. <laughs> I like the tiling. The in wings the are black, though. Like, I don't think. I think it's because they're, cause they're shadow. yeah, because they're probably because they're dead. Edge. Yeah, okay, I think, like, to be frank, yeah, we're not playing this card. No. Uh, but, no. Um, yeah. but it's, like, zero for four. <laughs> in the you, you, don't, you don't need it in Vincent. I'm, yeah. I'm just saying. Is, is Levia playing this card? What? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so no. All right, anyway, <laughs> last card. We got here. <laughs> All right. Maybe Fuck this one pog, will be dude. the one that saves us. Fantastic. Yeah, I hope so. Dog shit, huh? Killing Third me. reprint. <laughs> Blade break one block, trash takes three turns. No, there's games no, that are four, faster than four that. Full three print. 
I don't know what they're friends. doing. Yeah. Well, crew, crew, yeah. Unlimited. Yeah. Crew, yeah. crew, crew, unlimited. Yeah. Crew, order. Three. HP. Yep. Yeah. Fourth. Yeah. I think, I, honestly, this is a really big reprint because a lot of people yeah. need. Yeah, the game is growing. Yes, yeah. yeah. you just need to bring more of these tunics. Like it's honestly, useful. reprinting tunic once a year. Let's get it. Yeah. Keep yeah. it. I hope they reprint like sync in a future set. Yeah, those, those uh, uh, Rainbow Foil things are like six. Bucks, like they've done but... Scar for a Scar, they've done Tunic yeah, now. And speaking of speaking, oh, of reprints, they're not going like, to be Rainbow Foil, but yeah. Looking yeah. at this uh, Quicken token with new art, I hope they start doing that where they actually uh, do. Yeah, yeah. yeah, really, yeah, like, yeah. yeah that'd be cool. Uh, I want this in Cold Foil. This look great. Yeah, I still want a Cold Foil Seismic Surge, and all I, my Rune Blade is... brothers out there can relate. I want my Cold Foil Rune Chant. Yeah. Exactly. Please, um, uh, please so I'll circle back. Just so you guys are aware, Dro Mai is sitting at 240. She is a lot lower than that. <laughs> oh, I totally misremembered. You were yeah. close. You're, um, you're off the only like person above 600, 600 is Dash. Yeah, the, in regular ranges, like Dash. Dash is at 646, and then uh, I said Alexi, 8, yeah. 840, and Alexi's at 920. So, so. I guess, right. yeah, that's that's fair. LSS, we're like, Dro Mai's not doing hot. Everyone's hyping her up, but she's just not converting. Well, I, think, I think the issue with Dro Mai is like, Dro Mai gets top placements but she really does not convert to wins a lot so i think yeah. it's i think it's very fair uh also so i think this set is introducing hero. a lot of bad matchups for dromai um because i think like go wide mech if you can pistol like if you can just like build up and pistol out dragons like that seems good um i think block out teclo vasen seems good against like i think so you have a fuck ton like, of poppers too already yeah i think for dash io the ceiling's high enough where you can just like kind of pressure them like lexi I yeah, so, so that's what I'm saying. Maybe they were like, she's not doing great, and she's not gonna do better. So like, let's get something out there. But I also want to give a shout out. I think they did some quite good flavor text in the set. Yeah, um, the little bit way more flavor text. Yep, I love it. Yeah, I think still it's, can't it's... beat critical strike. <laughs> oh, <my>. <laughs> <laughs> if you know, you know. Yeah, so, I'm really uh, happy I that think... they're bringing back the boost without the reminder text. Thank God. Yes, it's really nice. Except for twin, the the twin one. Hopefully, oh, yeah. foil or extended art, they don't. They yeah, twin drive. Like, what is this shit? I'm hoping we so much. get one in the future that's like called Mazda, and it costs four, and it's boost, boost, boost. I really hope that the next uh, November <laughs> armory kit will have extended boom grenades. Ooh. Oh. I mean, well, it looks like they were doing rares though, right? Because it was heavy artillery. Oh, they're doing rares, heavy artillery. All right, never mind. It's doomed. Dude, it could be the scripts, man. That would be pretty sick. I don't want the scripts. The scripts are bad. You want extended art polarity and penetration security? No. I want booms and protocols. All right. Well, we can't please Alan Lee, unfortunately. But it's okay. Yeah, they gave it's us right. macho, so that's something. Yeah. Well, all right. I think you know it's pretty all sick. Right. Set review. I think yeah, it's, yeah, it's pretty good. Cool. Yeah. Lock I would on. give this set a rating. Out of rating. Mm -hmm. All right. This fantastic. Is, this is a set. This is a it's set. Like, <laughs> honestly, the mech, the mech, fucking weeboos are just like absolutely exploding in their pants. I right have now, to call Miles right now. Wanting. They yeah, got been, the mechanoid. I mean, this is what I'm for. They got the mechanoid, and they're like, okay, well, we can't play this shit. The fuck, dude. You know. Honestly, I had no interest in this set. I saw Teclo and I was like, okay, maybe. I saw Max and I was like, meh. And then I saw Dash and I was like, there's something. When I played it, I was <laughs> I have, like, I wow. No this is this, crazy. Seeing the design of this set work, like, I was dreading when they were like, there's going to be an arcane only set. I think it's going to be so sick. Like, I, if they can yeah. pull off stuff like this, like, this game is just, like, just starting. Like, it's so They're cool. probably just waiting for Icelander to LL before doing the all wizard yeah, set. Maybe that is it. I can't or wait all for arcane that. Set, I mean, yeah. we don't know if it's wizard. Maybe there's an arcane damage ninja. Yeah, or some kind of new class. Who knows? Yeah. So super sick, bright lights. You know, pre-release. Yep. This weekend for when we're recording and release next week. We'll Sheesh. do a bunch of videos with uh, our initial decks and testings. Uh, yeah. shortly Probably after. have to be TTS though, because it's not yeah. on Talishar. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Talishar. It right it's a lot of work for the set because there's so many weird. <laughs> yeah. There's so, so many interactions. Yeah. yeah. But. All right. So look forward to that, uh, and then uh, I guess we'll catch you guys next time. Yeah. See you in Matrix. Peace.